Chow, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Hope y'all are having a good day today, man. Uh, let me just close Warframe real quick. Hi guys, hi. What's up, what's up? Alright, let me open Grand Cross and uh, we'll get to playing. We will get to playing. I got a few things I want to do today. Um, you know, yesterday I was doing, uh, testing out the new Valenti and all that. I didn't get like a full uh, test with her, but I got like a good uh, amount, I feel like, for knowing how good she actually is. Well, if you guys watch my video this morning, you'll know for sure. Um, let me tweet on live real quick as well. Live now. Uh, grinding, grinding cross. I also have to update my chat box right now because it's not showing it. Uh, close that. Copy this. Give me a sec, chat. Give me a sec, y'all. I just got back to my PC, so. I'll just put Valenti. Alright, and then my chat box. Pop out this. Finally beat the snake. Congrats. Congrats, Bardock. All right, let me, um, here we are. All right, there we go. And okay, let me just log in real quick and we're good to go. You guys are very good. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like the guides. That's what I'm here to do. You know, that's what I'm here to do. Uh, make the most informative guides possible. Yes, sir. Shout out to Sage and, uh, and Bardock, man. Viz, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Um, how you guys doing today, man? How you guys doing today? We gotta hop in and we gotta get grinding. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So, uh, my first login though for today, for JP. Let's see here. Geo, what's up, man? How you been? How you been? Alright, guys, let's hop in and do some PvP first. Yesterday, I really wanted to do it, but because we were doing, um, the testing with Valenti, because I actually pulled for it yesterday... Uh, I want to do some PvP Chaos Battle, you know, maybe some regular PvP. I got to get into Champion 1 and I got to do... Uh, I got. I want to try and at least get top 10% if I can. Um, we'll see how it goes, though. Oh, my team is not, not good enough points-wise anymore. Dang. Or it's too expensive, I mean. Let's see, who can we run, then? Who can we run? No, I'd have to run another 500-500. Damn, they ruined my team from yesterday, guys. That's why I was trying to do this yesterday, you know, because I had the chance. Um, I guess Gother could be a backline, I guess. I mean, I could run him. Um, let me see here. This Lilia, but I didn't level her up. See, that's the problem. Like, I don't have a lot of characters built for this mode. Um, so it is kind of hard to, like, make a team, man, low-key. Um, and I thought Shin would be like a sleeper pick. Like, I didn't think people would take him uh, too often, but I guess they are. Uh, let's see then. Oh, I could use this Valenti. I mean, she sucks, but she's in a catastrophe. <laughs> I could use her technically. Um, let's see here. And then uh, I guess I just give one of my high CC links. We'll just do this. Um, and I'll do, I'll do Tarmio link on... On the uh, Awakened Mono here. I need mats for Valenti's Relic. I grinded it last night, guys. I grinded it last night before I recorded that video. Alright, and in my backline, I guess, will just be this Gother. I just need LTC. Um, whoever my 6-6 six, six link is. I think it's this Goth, uh, this King. Yeah. I need CC food. No! What's up, Dolphin? How you been? Uh, Dylan, what's up, bro? You think the new Demonic Beast can be beaten without Demon King Meliodas? It can, but the only team that I've seen so far that has beaten it is without, um, what's it called? Without, uh, or with a 6-6 six, six Gulther. Like, that's the only team I've seen actually beat it. Uh, which is kind of insane, right? Yeah, let me turn it down a little bit more, guys. I thought it was a little bit too loud there. Alright. Say, what's up, man? Amazing for global and PvP test, uh, LV, DK, Melly, the good fast Merlin, all rush Merlin, CC food. Oh, yeah, you could be pretty good. I miss his banner. His banner's out right now. Um, Gother's still available, no? Like, Gother's still available, I thought. But you need that Gother high dupe, so I don't think it's even worth it. I don't even think it's worth going for it. 
Rolls Valenti, good. Check out my video today, guys. I did a video covering the 1 out of 6 Valenti and how I feel she is. Um, I think she's okay. You know, I don't think she's, like, that much of an upgrade, though. Okay, we're not doing that. We're doing PvP today. And then maybe we'll do that a little bit later. Um, but I want to do uh, some PvP first. And I guess since this Valenti is blue, I mean, it works kind of well with this with this team that I got going on here. I mean, um, her Holy Relic will work, I guess, technically. Um, let's put CC food on. Let's see how much CC we got. This team should have more CC than yesterday's team. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Oh, I think... You know what I might need to do, actually, though? Oh, damn. No, I gotta run Green Sario Link on, uh, thing. Uh, how are you today? Amazing. I'm doing pretty good, Gio. How you been? Does Shaltier work over King? Um, yes, yes. If you do the all cycle. Wow. I'm facing another catastrophe team that honestly sees me. What? What Easton? The red one? Really? Okay. True Awakened Roxy. No debuffs, though. This team doesn't have any debuff application. I need to run Green Sario Link uh, Valenti, man. So I can I can take advantage of the... Oh my god, that did so much damage. Yeah, I'm dead. It's a go first or lose meta in this too, guys. It feels like, you know. Okay, that's fine. That's my first match of the day. I mean, minus four is fine. You usually, like, when you win in Chaos Battle, you get more, like, points off winning than, like, than you do losing. Um, and also, if you do lose, it's mostly because, like, you're facing, like, a whale or something. Um, off the rip. But, yeah, no, I gotta run Green Sario Link, actually. On you. Do you want to be able to apply debuffs? And then this, uh, you know, this Roxy can attack. So, I'll have to switch Link's. Um, I'll go with my Escanor Link, because it's pretty good stat-wise. Alright. Alrighty then. Hop him back in. <sighs> you think it's worth to summon for Valenti if I have 12.5 million box DC? Yes, yes. If you are Constellation 6 and, and above and your box DC is like 10 plus million, then yeah, go for her, man. She's really nice. She makes your runs a lot smoother. For me though, and in, on, in my free-to-play accounts experience, it's not been that great. I'll be honest, man. It hasn't felt that great. Um, so I don't, I don't really know for sure if I would, you know, uh, 100% recommend that character, but, um, yeah, no, I mean, she's good, uh, for sure, let's do that. That AoE is gonna do, like, no damage, though, yeah. Yeah, that Valenti might not be worth, even for the weak point, like, that weak point damage is not really hitting like that either anyway, so, maybe I don't even run that. That Shin was just such a good option, man. Yo, amazing. Any tips on the Deer Floor 3? The last phase keeps killing me due to RNG, man. Try and hold on to one of each color card going into that phase. If you can hold on to one of each color, then you'd be fine. Damn it, that damage reduction. If that's a 6 6 signs, I'm not going to be killing them. Let's see. Is he high dupe? 1 out of 6. Okay, we're not that bad then. Um. I feel like I should go for the for the rem though. So I'm gonna do this actually. I'm gonna do this and then that. And I think that kills. Yup. Deki knight, bop bop bop. Damn, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay, mono. I should have saved that rank two for the for the Ains then. Yeah, she's dead, for sure. Yeah, that could work. I just uh, hate that he revives and heals back up. Try and, like, reset if you get in that position where you get him at, like, around a specific amount of HP. Because um, if you can get that right amount, then you could definitely uh, you could definitely uh, work around that, right? Okay, we're going to get Death Sentence. I can cleanse that, though. Mono got that cleanse. Mono got that cleanse. Mono got that cleanse. All right, I'm also free to play and at the moment I have 1,015 gems and I really don't know if I should summon. Yeah, honestly, Viz, I would say if you are fine doing floor 1 and 2, don't summon. If you are fine doing that, do not do not summon, bro. Like, you know, it's just, in my opinion, it, it didn't feel worth. Like, I, I was, like, after using her, I was like, damn, man. She's good, but not, not worth 600 gems. Definitely not. Not worth 600 gems. That's for sure. Unless you're like, unless you're a whale already that just wants to to like make your life easier, uh, then yeah, then go for it. But other than that, no, I I would not summon. 
And I'm gonna make that video tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna have to shoot you something tomorrow. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. I think she's good, but I don't know, man. If you really want to replace Merlin and you want to run the team, then yeah, summon for her. Because she is just better than Merlin. That, that's 100%. She's better than Merlin. Um, if that's what you guys are asking. If you want a better option than Merlin, yes. But then again, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Yo, Gumbo, what's going on? But then again, I don't need the relics from the rat that bad. That's fair then, I mean... Yeah. If, if you don't really care about Ratatoska relics like that, yeah. Then then just skip, you know. Um, you can do floor 1 and 2 with the, the original team that did beat it. So, I don't think it's like a must, you know. Um, yeah. That's old rank up go through, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this then. I'm gonna do this, this. And I'll do... Actually, yeah, I feel like that kills Amelia. I feel like it does. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see, Mono. Done, done, done. Not enough. Is she tankier than Merlin? No, low-key, she's not. Low-key, she's not. Um, Unless you're running green glocks, maybe. If you're running green, green glocks, maybe, guys. But if she felt a little weak, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, once four Koa Grand Cross stops, they're gonna delete all your old progression and units and start all over again. I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they're just gonna rebrand the game as, uh, you know, four knights sit Grand Cross or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm Korean, trust me. What? Okay, let me do this, and then let me do. Uh, let me see her actually. Wait, maybe I do this. Ah, uh, Gother is annoying as hell, bro. I'm I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill Askinor, and I'm gonna kill the Amelia. I know he can rank up, and this could be kind of bad for me as well. But I think I'll tank it. I think I'll tank it. This team is big, beefy stats. Come on. Boom. He's six out of six. Damn. Six out of six, Askinor. <laughs> I'm not summoning because if I want to summon, I have to have the material to level 100 SA6. That's fair. Another attack seal? Damn. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's do... Damn, this kind of sucks, actually. I don't think, uh, you know, this would kill. I think what I need to do, actually, is just... Oh, and I can't attack three times. Yeah, I have to just do this then. I'm just going to do this. Because I was thinking, like, the uh, Escanor is going to be able to attack multiple times. And obviously, we don't want him to do that. But got to kill that Gother, man. I feel like he is uh, kind of being annoying right now. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. He tanks it. <laughs> you see it. I think I'm dead. I think I'm low-key dead. If he ranks up for a rank three AoE, he has two of them. I'm dead, guys. And he got ultimate Gother. I'm dead. <laughs> I think I just sold. I should I should have killed the Escanor when I had the chance, man. Amazing, you got a consistent team for school and Hadi. A consistent team? Yeah, I mean, just run full Ragnarok, right? Full Ragnarok is going to be really good. Single target, really? Does he have AoE follow-up? Okay, I was about to say, bro. You can't, you can't do that and not AoE. Please tank this. Oh! <laughs> Never mind, he sold. He actually sold the bag there, guys. Alrighty, now we do this, we do that, and we do that, and we won. So, W, W. Yeah, we pulled that back. Um, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm going to stake my gems. I don't know if you, sh if you guys should be summoning though, man. I'll be honest, guys. I don't know, man. I really don't right now. Very tough situation to be in, for sure. Like, I, and, and it's been since, like, Gelda, since, like, I've said, like, it's a tough situation for anybody right now, right? It's... It's not really that good. Um, also, Nestor continues to disappoint. Wow. I, I thought he was okay there. You know, he almost got me. If, if he ranked up a double AoE, he would have won. But uh, he sold. So, that is just uh, unfortunate circumstances for him. Let's go. Look at that, man. We clutched that match, guys. Easy W. Alrighty. Yeah, I feel like Catastrophes is always a staple team for Chaos Battle. Like, even if you are missing, like, a few... Uh, characters on the team if you have an awakened mono like this Raiden mono and then Roxy you can build the rest of the team yourself You just put another catastrophe 500 another 500 backline. You're good to go and and that team will do most of the job uh, I'm a dolphin and whale mentality we summon in 
Me as a free to play, only 400 gems. I will be summoning. Wow. I don't know, man. The Valenti feels weak on lower box CC accounts, though. Like, I get I wasn't getting good RNG, but I, I, I need to show you guys. Like, I had a few runs where I had good RNG, and I still just died. For whatever reason, the boss starts targeting a uh, thing, and then you just lose, bro. It actually is, like, annoying as hell. Uh, let's do that. He's gonna try and go for attack seals, but we have uh, mana which can cleanse us. I, li I like this team a lot in Chaos Battle too, because we have cleanse, you know? The cleanse from mono, I think, is very, very clutch. Alright, unless unless we just kill. Uh, if I'm running my, my Shin team, I would have easily killed right there. Yeah. I have 1.4k gems now. Should I summon for the new Valencia as free to play? If you can do floor 1 and 2 already, guys, without Valenti, don't summon. That, uh, that honestly is the case, like, right now, I would say. Um, if you just, if you are in a situation where, you know, you want to be using, uh, or you want to be clearing floor 3, then I think you've got to summon. But, I don't know, man, it's tough, guys. It is honestly tough. Um. Nah, I can't do that. I gotta do this. Then that. Then that. Da, 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 da. Cleanse those debuffs. Also, because we're running Gother backline, whenever we cleanse debuffs, you get a heal. Look at that, man. That's so far. All right. It's not enough, is it? It's not enough. Unfortunate. Freya. Whoa, Freya from the backline is so weird. The way she comes out. I've never seen that actually. No one's ever run Freya backline. That's so weird. Um. I'm about to skip the next festival. I'm tired of spending 900 gems for units on the banner and 1-6 mid festivals that only exist for CC. Well, the only time that's happened is uh, Gulther, let's be honest. Uh, you know, Chaos Arthur was not just a CC bot. Um, same with DK Melly, so let's relax. It definitely only has been Gulther that fit that circumstance. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, I'm just going to buff and kill the uh, the Ainz. The Ainz is a threat, bro. We got to take him out. There we go. <laughs> so you're skipping JP any, right? That's kind of wild. To skip JP any is crazy. Can't even lie. Da, 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 da. Got him. All right, we won. We won. Yeah, no, like this catastrophe team is still a winning team, bro. Like as long as I, as long as I'm living with my Roxy, we're chilling. And as a, if I go first, too, guys. If I go second, then I'm just dead, you know, for sure. But. The devs dropped three relics like before, and people stuck on floor three, uh, 07, see ya? What? I don't know what that means. Um, I don't think the devs are gonna drop three relics, though. When it, when have they dropped three relics for the new beast? The last time they dropped a relic, it was one relic, guys. They dropped one, bro. So are they gonna drop three in one celebration? I don't think so. Like, and even then, like, let's say they do, they're only gonna do it on, uh, on a uh, on a live stream event so let's say you've been doing floor two for the past since it's, since Bratatosk was released then you would have a relic every three weeks where you would have enough to make a relic every three weeks so you could make miles relic and you would still be you know on your way to make another one let's say we have another live stream at the end of this month for like the collab i don't think they're gonna drop a Bratatosk relic during the collab um if it is a collab you know it could be sabnog you know and like a catastrophe update too but i'm just i'm just like going off of like what i think it would be but then again, like, yeah, I just, I just don't think it would be, guys. I, I don't know. I don't think it would be. Um, yeah, he's not running uh, Tarmiel Link on a uh, thing there. So wait, let me bait out Evade for just in case. Let me do this then, actually. And then that. Evade food could be the case here, y'all. Let's do that. It's not Evade food, okay. Boom. But if that isn't a sin, I'm skipping. It's definitely going to be a sin. Guys, we got the dev note. If you guys watched my video covering the dev note, they pretty much confirmed it's going to be a sin. Because um, they said that there, we're only getting uh, four nights in the second half of the anniversary. So the first half is going to be a sin festival, most likely. And then the second half will be uh, a 600 banner Percival or something, right? That's kind of what we're expecting right now. Um, if they do back-to-back -back festival, that would be crazy, though. I, I don't know if I'd like that. I'm not going to lie. If they do that, I'm, I'm, I don't think they would be opposed to that either, but I hope they don't. That would be kind of crazy. They'd have to give us like 900 gems. What's a sin? A 7 deli sin? 
A seven million sin character? Alright, let me uh Let me grab more stamina here. I have to skip the collaboration if I want to summon for the anniversary. Yup. Um, if the collaboration is Rising of the Shield Hero rerun, guys, and we do get free Kizuna again, skip the whole collab. Like, dead ass, bro. If they give Kizuna for free, skip the whole collab. If not, and they release, like, two new units and Kizuna's on the banner, I would still probably say skip, though. <laughs> I'll still probably say skip, just because, like, I don't know. It's, it's tough, because you'd be chasing unfeatured. Like, you could pity her, but it's just not worth. It's not worth. Like, she was free, so she's not worth chasing as a summonable unit. Um... Now, what about Sins? Is JPNE not for Koa? They mentioned JPNE is the second part of for, for Koa confirmed from them. Like, from the devs themselves. That's what they said. Um, I don't know 100% sure if that's going to be the case. You know, it could definitely change. Um, but yeah, that's what I did see, though. Right? Um, I'm going to kill the Brunhild. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Brunhild. Yo, Mason, you got my L Relic already? No, I did not, guys. I did not get my L Relic yet. Um, I will probably go for it soon, though. Um, but I've not gotten it yet, no. That kills Brundled, right? There we go, W. It's an easy skip? This is crazy. Friar backline? Okay, well, that kind of helps that Friar right there. Hey, I've not played Grand Cross in a year. Is it worth getting back into it as a free-to-play? Yeah, 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 I would say so. Honestly, like, I don't think playing Grand Cross free-to-play is bad. I think, honestly, it's pretty good. Uh, you got a good CC update, minus 73k. 73k is kind of good. Damn. Damn, 73k. That's fire, honestly. Um, okay, let's kill the Freya then. Let's do that to lifesteal, this and this. And just make sure. Yeah, just watch my beginner's guide video. Uh, you know, and then, uh, you'll be chilling, man. Amazing, are you excited for my video potentially coming out today? Uh, uh, is it, wait, is it that, the, the Galland, um, like, Elden Ring video? I saw the, like, snippet on Twitter, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I don't know if that's it. Uh, hey, Amazing, should I give a Holy Relic to Green Brunel to have Jormungand, uh, or, I don't have Jormungand or, uh, Blue Miguel, then, yeah, no, I would say, uh, I would say, yeah, I mean, you could, Green Brunel is pretty good still for Demonic Beast, like, all the old, like, the older ones, right? Um, yeah. Yo, good luck on the grind today, Anthony. Yo, thank you, Todd uh, underscore SR. Appreciate you. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. You know, editing right now, actual cancer, but I want it to be at least sort of good. Wow. Sort of editing? Question mark? No, I'm trolling. He edits, he edits. Um, yeah, no. That, that seems like a very exciting video, you know. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Can't wait to watch God vs. Millennia. I assume that's like a boss or something. <laughs> How can I get red Donar tanking? Attack crew resistance or HP crew resistance? And make sure you roll the, the rolls in, in, into crew resistance as well. Um, is the perk melee on? Let's see. Tarmiel link he is. I'll do this. I think I could kill him. I honestly think I could kill him, bro. He's running, uh, what's it called? Kokaitis, bro. Evade food as well? See, I knew it. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Never mind, I'm not killing <laughs> I'm not killing. This is Chaos PvP. Yes, this is Chaos PvP. Yeah, I'm not killing with that. Uh, Black Effect. That's fine. We got Cleanse with Mono again, right? We just gotta get some top decks with... Uh, with Thing right there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. This is Chaos on JP, guys. This is Chaos on JP. Uh, did you showcase new Valencia on every Demonic Beast? Yeah, I did not know. Um, we could definitely try her out, though, on the new Demonic Beast. Damn, there goes my Roxy. Um, we definitely could try her out, though, on the on the other ones. Uh, for sure. Damn, Perk Melee is still, like, on in lower tier PvP, is still crazy. Which isn't unfortunate for me. Um, okay, let's do that. Uh, we can do this, and then I'll do this. And that should do big damage right there. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully this at least, at least kills Kakaitis. And then uh, they lose a card. Um, we'll see though. Black Rato. Oh, that's the attack lower one too. Wow, I didn't. That's so unfortunate. Um, losing Roxy was tough, man. But I did seal. What is that? I guess Kakaitis is debuff attacks and, and Zeldris is uh, infects. Yeah, no, we lost, guys. This is a perk melee, man. 
Chat is completely safe until any or are there any banners must right now as top tier units go. Um, I don't know, it's kind of tough right now, man. It's kind of tough right now, I'd say. Um, like, the banner that's out for the Valenti, Valenti's really good. I think on, like, higher boxes, she feels a lot stronger, though. Like, me personally, when using her, I was struggling a lot with my free-to-play account. And we can do it again on, on stream today if you guys want to see. Um, we can definitely do it again. Um, I just saw it as, like, kind of a, kind of a problem going through, though. That's all. Uh, yeah, guys, we lost. We lost. Um, if my, my Roxy died, like, it's just unfortunate. I, sh I should have attacked turn one. I feel like I should have did something different on the turn one. I'll give the guy the W. Yeah, these are the teams on Chaos though, man. What was this backline? Blue Jericho. Crazy. My free to play is 9.4 million box CC. Yeah, I could be 9.5. Like, here, I'll show you guys the box CC. And I'll show you guys Valenti's costumes as well. I don't have costumes for her, so that also is part of it. But, like, guys, if you're, like, trying to do this and you're, like, actually, like, a like a regular free to play you're not gonna have outfits other than the free ones anyway like you would maybe have christmas valenti's outfits too but i only have the regular valenti's outfits and this valenti's outfits right so this is what i was rocking on my valenti on my video yesterday but yeah, it's just tough and i made her i literally grinded her holy relic just to showcase like with the relic just just so i had like the full like you know test right but yeah it was still kind of tough man i don't know i don't know um yeah okay uh we could do the next few matches still i think and we'd be okay with that Just claim all this stuff here. Sure. There you go. Okay. Yeah, we can we can keep it going. What's my rank right now? Let's see. Fifteen percent. Honestly, bro, I might just have to stay top thirty. I feel like chasing top ten is tough. Like I, I'll barely make it. I feel like. So maybe I just do regular PvP. Let's do regular PvP. Oh, not talk to Taizu. Regular PvP, please and thank you. They changed it from, uh, it was like 50 chests to 80 keys now, guys, every week. You know, that's, that's, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, okay. Save till JP Annie in 2025, yup, that, that's what people be saying, right? Save till New Year's, you know, save till, uh, November Fest, right? Uh, yeah. Giant's the only way for Chaos, though? Yeah, for the most part, I feel like Chaos, I feel like in Chaos you can still run, like, oh, wow, barely out to see me, 1k. Unfortunate. Um, yeah, it's his elders too. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, you think I can beat the route with Valenti 3 million free to play? No, you can't. No, you definitely cannot then. Klopp is trolling though, because I think he's like 13 million. He forgot to add the one in front of that. No, I think Klopp's like more than that, actually. But yeah, no, I think he forgot to add the one, guys. So, yeah, no. For sure, he'd be able to do it. Okay. A level 99 Zeldris is crazy. Um, I'm not going to be able to get a merge either. That sucks, man. I actually hate a uh, thing. Um, okay, let's do... Let's do this to get a damage reduction and then this. Because Melee is going to get... Yeah. But I got to kill Zeldris, right? Zeldris is going to get them basic stats once he starts taking gauge. I need to get a natural merge on this turn or we lose, guys. I need to get a natural merge right now. Please and thank you, Grand Cross. Do me a solid. Do me a solid and get me a natural merge here, man. Come on. Let's go! Natural merge. It's too easy. All right. Now we actually have a chance here to maybe win this match unless Arthur does die. Um, an AoE from Melee follow-up single target might kill me, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, Let's see, though. Let's see what he's going to do. Do you have your, uh, your, your Bond True Awakened? I do not have him True Awakened, no. I do not have my Bond True Awakened. He's going for my Bond, really? Wait, I'm winning this match now because he's doing that. I don't know why he's doing that. AoE now. Okay. Sold? Question mark? Sold? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Um, sold? Question mark? Uh, okay, let's do this. And I'll rip that again as well. Have you filled out the survey they put out? It ends in two days. No, I haven't. I was going to make a video tomorrow on it, man. Um, I was definitely going to make a video covering it soon. Um, I didn't do it yet, though. I did not do it yet, though. No, guys. 
um yeah what i'll do is i'll probably make a video uh like about the survey and how you guys should like definitely participate um and yeah no uh and we'll and we'll see look at that damage reduction bro that damage reduction matters a lot like, you actually like notice it in ungeared at least there we go that's fine Y'all just solo that stuff is so annoying in, in uh, top 100. Yeah, no, I feel that, man. I feel that for sure. Um, okay, let's see. Is he high dupe, Gildo? Let's see. 1 out of 6. Honestly, 1 out of 6, I'm not scared about. I'm not scared about at all 1 out of 6, man. Um, let's do that to let that merge, and then we'll do uh, this as well to get ultimate with Arthur. Boom. 100k. So should free to play skip Valenti? If you're lower box CC, yes. Because if you weren't if you weren't beating, because I don't think Valenti's gonna help you beat anything you weren't already beating. Um if you're if you're like a lower box CC free to play. I'ma be honest. Like guys, I don't know what it was. Like I was using her yesterday, she just feels a little weak, man. Like I think it's still a possible floor three clear, but it's still gonna be as difficult as it was when I was running Merlin. Like it's still gonna take a while to get the run done. That's the problem, right? Um, that's the thing that I noticed when I was going about it. Oh, wow, the guy forward. That was actually a real player. I didn't even think. Wow, how do you go first and lose with that team? Bro, how do you sell the bag like that? <laughs> I guess he saw the 1 in the 6 ultimate did no damage on Arthur. But still, bro, like, how do you go first and lose like that? Yeah, no, guys, I'll definitely be making a video on that survey thing tomorrow. Um, I was just, like, waiting to do a video on it, and I had two videos coming out today, so... Uh, I'll have a video about that tomorrow. What box you see would you recommend? Uh, what box you see? If, if you're above 10 million and you have Constellation 6 unlocked, then Valentia is a godsend for your account. For sure. Because then I know for Floor 3, it's going to be a lot easier. Right? It's going to be a lot easier on Floor 3. Um, okay, so we could just move cards here. Um, and I'll do this actually as well so Melly doesn't have a uh, thing. Delta is weird. One minute, one minute she's got here. Next, she can barely do anything. You want to know why she can't do anything? Is because when she's not life stealing, you have no HP to scale off of, bro. If you're not scaling off of any HP, it's gonna be tough, you know. I mean, if you're like in C5, like close to C6, sure, maybe. But I don't know, man. It's still gonna be kind of tough, though. I don't know. Really? This bot sold the bag. I think it's a bot. But this bot did sell. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, and then I'll try and kill Bon as well. Gother alone is not going to be doing anything, man. Meanwhile, people already getting C7. No way people are getting C7 yet. I, I don't think people are getting C7 yet, though. No way. Right? No way people are getting C7 yet. Merlin backline. That go through ultimate, by the way, guys, do not underestimate it. It actually will hit hard. So that's that is one thing you might have to worry about go through. Even like a one six go through ult still hit, kind of hits hard. It's always like fifty percent extra damage dealt on the one out of six because of pulverize. Because you're ulting, right? Gotta kind of watch out for that. But I think we're good though. Um, Arthur is built up, and we are good to go. The number one guy on global is uh, C seven already. Bro, that guy on global, if he's C7, he has to be like 450,000 CC or something. 13k CC boost is crazy. Yo, that is insane. Yeah, no, because I think C6, C, uh, C6 was like a 6k CC, 7k CC increase. 13k CC increase is insane, man. That actually is kind of wild. Alright, let's do that, and we've won the match. Alright, W. Um, we should be close to getting in Champion 1 then if I'm not already in Champion 1 because of this match. Um, which would be good. I know Liquid's like a mega whale. Okay, one more match, guys. One more match. Alright, let me go get more PP stamina. I'm at 10 million boxes and I'm C5. See, I'm at 9.4 in C5, guys, and I was struggling with my Valenti, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think the Rider Tusker on that phase is just a little annoying. And you still do need buff cards, but like, I don't know, bro. Even when I was getting buff cards, I was dying. I have to show you guys. I have to show you guys some clips. 
Like there was a there was a chance like that that I had to beat it. I do think like I don't think it's impossible with Valenti and lower boxes. See, I think it's possible. I just think it's still gonna be as tough as it was with with Merlin versus Valenti. And I'm running Gloxinia, so 40% extra defense related stats, and I'm still dying. Like that's a shocker to me. I was like, bro, no way. Like I feel like that 40% defense related is not really there for Glock sometimes. I don't know, man. Fairies. Fairies. I like fairy team, but. I don't think they're that crazy though. Um, I guess we'll do this. We'll do that. It's if I attack twice, I get lowered, right? So I don't mind getting lowered with uh, Yuri. I don't mind. Does Constellation 4 give some CC boost? It's not as much. It's probably like one or 2,000 CC. But it's not as much as C5 and C6. C6 and, and C5 are pretty big jumps, I'd say. For the most part. Alright, I think we won the match. Um, unless, unless you somehow just die here. But I don't think Gothar's going to be critting us with that weak point, so... Uh, and you should run fairies for the one time? Nah, not on my free-to-play. I can't run fairies on that. Okay, yeah, we've won the match. Um, fairies are cool and all, but... Unfortunately, they're not like a meta team, though. I'll say, man. They're not a meta team. And, and we don't even scale off of attack lab much. Like, we do, kind of, but not really. Um, yeah, and then I'll just mark a concentration. The, uh, the Gloxinia there, I guess. Yeah, that does way too much damage, bro. 40% defense-related stats. This ain't the squirrel. Yamcha! <laughs> Yamcha. I didn't tell you already, bro, but I got her on my, uh, on my free-to-play, by the way. I should have mentioned to you that. But, um... Yeah, no, I got, uh, I got kind of rolled on the free-to-play, uh, with Valenti, so. <laughs> but what's up, bro, what's up? This is not the squirrel, no, this is not the squirrel. I haven't been the thumbnail, but this is just my live, my, my regular live grind. Um, yeah, we're just getting into champion one real quick. We, we can do squirrel, though. While you're here, we can do squirrel. I'll finish up this match and we'll do some squirrel. Uh, for sure. This is a bot, though, this is a bot. You still, still play Genshin Impact? Whenever I get the chance, yeah, I'll hop on. Um, yeah. Alrighty, let's see. AoE, boom, boom. Goodbye, Elaine. Alrighty, there we go, guys. We can uh, we can try another run, though. Yeah, um, we'll see. We definitely can try another run. I, I could try um, Crew Resistance on everyone. But everyone was saying Critical Defense is the way to go, though, still, too. So it's kind of tough. I don't know. Um, okay, let's let's hop in. Let's let's do a run. Let's let's try. I got to second floor though. Uh, the passive I got though was bad. So, do we want to reset, guys? If we got this passive, or do we want to let it rock? I feel like if we get critical defense gear, maybe we can let that passive rock. Yeah, let me reset it completely. Let's run crit defense gear. I was running uh defense percents because I thought that felt pretty nice, but I guess critical defense might be the way to go regardless. Valenti definitely needs this the most as well. Alrighty, and then uh, Gloxinia. I don't, I don't ever see Gloxinia really getting crit like that, honestly. Um, but if they have severed them, we're going to get crit, so we got to run it. Uh, did they change the fight yet? No. No, no, no. The fight's still pretty much the same uh, for the most part. I think on melee, I could run this. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I think I could run this. I don't know if you guys think that's that's fine or not, but we could try that. And then uh crit resistance on Liz, yeah. Like, this is fine. Basic stack card set. Yeah, I mean we're good to go. Let's just make sure everyone has their gear. Yep. Alright, let's hop in. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. Valenti, like I showed you guys yesterday. I don't know, bro. Chat. You guys know my opinion on this Valenti, man. I, when I get it on my whale account, I'm gonna get the floor three clear, and I'm gonna tell you guys the exact same thing I said on my free to play. If you are higher box CC, it's gonna feel really good using her. But when you're lower box CC, I don't know what it is. She just feels weak as hell. Like I get it, it's because I don't have costumes, I don't have like stuff like that. I made her UR gear though, and I got her holy relic too. But it still feels a little weak, man. I don't know, man. And I'm not even trying to come off as like I'm hating this Valenti because I think what her kit is doing is good for the fight. It is, it, it's everything you kind of want actually. But I don't know, man. It just feels a little weak. Uh, hey, amazing. Would you like to see Queen Dian be an LR? I mean, it would be pretty cool, but I don't think she needs one. And if she did get an LR, she wouldn't get a, a huge buff like 
It would be kind of like Margaret, right? Um. Uh, I use attack crit, melee, HP defense, glogs, HP critical defense, Valenti, and HP uh, defense. Elizabeth with the orb being regeneration ratio, she's the one getting targeted mostly. Uh, easily clear all three floors now. Wow. Yeah, that's what Yamcha's saying, so. Yeah, that's honestly fair, and I think, like, for the most part, that, that would work. Um, but again, like, Yamcha, like, you're a whale, so, like, your box you see versus, like, mine, it's a completely different thing. Um... And I don't know, I like at least from my perspective right now, I've felt it being a lot harder uh, on my free to play account to do it. Even with relatively the same like like type of gear being made, right? Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. DK Melly needs an LR, he already fell off. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. I think she appears on the anniversary of the Valenti. I don't think she will. I, I actually don't think she will rerun on, on the anniversary. Because usually it takes a while for a unit to rerun. I think the the only character that could rerun on anniversary, I think, like the latest, would maybe be... Um, who who came out right before uh, Thing, though? I forget. Who came out right before uh, Thing? I forget. Got chat. Oh, Gelda. Gelda possibly. Gelda is a possibility, I think. I don't think it's like a, a, a good chance, but I think it's a possibility. Um, yeah. Gelda, yeah, I think Gelda might be the last chance, like, unit to maybe fit in the Anniversary Banner. Just because of the fact that I think we had, uh, Roxy on the Anniversary Banner, and Roxy was from, um, what's it called? She was from, uh, end of, end of March, beginning of April when she came out last year, and she, I think, was on the 5th Annie Banners, if I'm not mistaken. So I think she was, uh, actually there as well. Um, uh, and then we'll do, uh, this to send him to the middle, sure. Please rerun hell again. Minus one out of six. Damn. Clop the whale with a one out of six hell. No, I'm trolling. I only have like two out of six on mine, I think. So, yeah, I definitely would like some hell dupes as well. Probably stop at Green Chad King. Bro, let Valentine's the be on there too, man. Come on. I need Valentine's the so badly. Let let her be on the banner too. I know she's a seasonal, but allow it now, Marvel. Come on. Allow it. Uh... No wonder Valenti feels weak for you when you play her with some funky gear set. Only HP defense and HP defense defense rolls do the trick. No, I tried that though, Camilla. I did both. Guys, for anyone that's saying like amazing, you don't like, you haven't used Valenti correctly. I've tried multiple different gear sets, guys. This is critical defense. I've run HP defense d defense rolls. I've run critical resistance and people told me, no, you need critical defense because there's a sever card on floor three. But I haven't even gotten to floor three even with crit resistance. So I don't know, man. I don't know, man. When people tell me I haven't used the character right, I'm like, I don't know, y'all. I think I have. It's just, I think it's maybe just the fact that I'm lower box CC. You know what I mean? I think it might be just that. That's what I think it is at the end of the day. Um. Yeah, it, I don't know. Like, Val Valencia's obviously doing, doing, uh, you know, good for the fight. But it just feels a little weak to me, man. Off of using her. Um, okay, let's do shock. We'll send him to the left, right? We could do this. We could do that. Um, and then we could attack him. I mean, we'll give him a single target. Uh, to be fair, you might not necessarily need crutches, defense gear, uh, cause glass gives critical events, but I still think it's better. No, Reese, that's the thing. I've run, like for you guys wondering, I've run regular defense and defense rolls. Cause I was like, okay, maybe that's fine, right? Maybe you don't even need you know, critical defense or critical resistance. I was just like, maybe d straight defense rolls is fine for tanking. I tried that and it doesn't work. I tried critical defense and, and it's in a situation where I feel like it doesn't work. But again, we'll, we'll see if we can get there and, and see how it goes. But I don't know, man. Run it right now, amazing. I, last night in my video, I had just defense gear, guys. Okay, bro, we get it. Stop screaming at us, please. I'm just expressing my opinions, man. All right, let me do... Okay, let me do this. Uh, we'll do bleed. Because if we attack him, that's that's fine. I'll send him to the right. Um, we can do... We can do maybe uh, attack with Liz as well. Because uh, Melly... Melly cannot kill until I get an ultimate with him. Yeah, so I'll do this. And then, uh, yeah, we can just end turn. Yeah. You think uh, three million could beat my uh, the rap? My brother's favorite champ is uh, is Myel, and he wants the relic. 
Floor 1, maybe. Like, I don't think you're going to uh, be able to beat Floor 2 and 3, though. At 3 million box CC. But I never understand people who tell you to stop screaming. Like, the volume feature exists for a reason. That is as well. <laughs> that is as well. You know, maybe it's because I'm the I'm the only YouTuber that really is that expressive. Nah, I think Sora is too. But I think, like, for the most part, like... You know, I'm pretty expressive, so you might, you might seem, it might seem that I'm kind of loud when I speak, but, you know. Yeah, Forge is trolling anyway, but no, I've actually had comments on people like, yo, amazing, like, bro, can you stop screaming in your video, bro? And I'm like, bro, turn the volume down, bro. But I don't want to, like, you know, I don't even want to, like, say that, though, but, you know, turn the volume down, bro. Nah, anyways, uh, okay, let's do this. Let's do DK Melion. I think that's enough to finish it off, and then, uh, we can all with Liz, and then, uh, I'll just waste this. And then, yeah, we'll go into the next phase. We got Shock, Bleed, and I have Poison on the ultimate, yeah. We're good to go. We're good to go. Amazing, uh, amazing telling me I can't beat Rat with 3 million box CC is sus. You can beat Floor 1. I don't know if you can do Floor 2 and 3, though. Okay, that is the best passive, technically. That is best passive. Um, okay, let's see. We'll start with Bleed, right? That's what we do. Um, we'll do the buff card as well. Waste that card, too. And then, end turn. I think amazing trying to gatekeep. I'm not trying to gatekeep Valencia. I'm just like telling you guys my experience as a free to play using her. <laughs> not even gatekeeping, bro. If I was gatekeeping, I'd be like, oh yeah, no. Um, you know, you you have to have or no. If you don't pull on this Valencia, guys, you're never gonna get her, and uh, you have to have her. <laughs> like that that that'd be kind of gatekeeping, because then people that don't have enough gems are like, amazing. Do I really have to summon though? Is it really like that? Nah, but I'm just giving you guys my honest thoughts, man. I'm just giving you guys my honest thoughts. Uh, I can't get past phase three uh, of floor one of the rat. Yeah, it's about cycling and, and moving him left, right, and middle, right? So it is going to be kind of tough. Um, let's do shock, right? And I'll send it back to the left. And then I'll do uh, Valencia all next turn. And we should be good to go. Uh, yeah. So we can waste that. And I'll let this merge actually as well. Actually, I probably could just Glock's all. I'll Glock's all into like the, the, the middle thing right now. Amazing scheming right now? No, I'm like, bro. Like, chat, I didn't even want to summon for Valencia like that on my free-to-play, but I decided I'd do it for the people. I was like, you know what, content-wise is good. This character seems like she is the unit for the fight. I was like, let me do it, you know? I was like, let me do it. I summon for her, and I'm like, yo, she's not really feeling that crazy. Yo, we got a dono. I gotta open up Streamlabs to read it fully, because that, that, that is a long amount of things here. Give me a sec. Uh, I think it was uh, N City. Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to pull up my Streamlabs and read what you said, man. I appreciate it, though. Okay, let me log in. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Go to dashboard. Alright, let's see. Recent events. Let's see exactly what Ansity said. Uh, I think that's how you said his name. Yeah, Ansity. So, hello, amazing. How's your day? Uh, thank you again for the $1, bro. Uh, do you think Valencia is the specific unit for the squirrel, or are they gonna release another unit? Okay, my opinion right now, guys, is that... This Valenti feels a lot like, and if you guys were there at the time, it feels a lot like Freya with her Relic, but without LR Liz and without Summer Margaret. That's what this character feels like, where she will help you beat the fight, but it's still difficult as hell. For the, for the most part, for the most part. For a lot of people, it's still difficult, but Freya d did help people beat Nidhogg, just like how I think this Valenti is helping people beat, uh, you know, Reddit Toss here. I, I, I do think that's the case. And, you know, I was only really using Freya as well when I had her... You know, high bo uh, when I was on my main account too, right? I had big box CC, so um, yeah, there's there's that. Um, okay, let's do this, and then I'll just waste this AOE because you'll still go to the middle. We're applying poison. Um, I think amazing is the most beginner friendly, and for end game, I think Gar is probably very good for niche strategies to beat certain PV content. Yup, that's very true. Um, this is why I think I'm I'm still skipping. If you can't beat with Merlin, you probably can't beat with Valenti either. I think Valenti just makes it slightly easier than using Merlin. Um, I can clear with Merlin, so I'll stick with that. Exactly. No, and that's honestly fair. And that's honestly fair. I mean, the fact that free to play can beat this is good in my opinion, and, and that's true as well. Like the fact that you can do floor one two, right, is really good. Um, yeah, for sure. So there's definitely like reasons why you might want to summon for this Valentia, and I'm not opposed to you guys summoning. Like if you want to summon just to make your life easier, if you don't like Merlin, summon for this Valenti. Do it, bro. Like go for it, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you guys not to do it. I think it is. It is a worthwhile thing. It's just you know you gotta think about it in in the sense of like where my box CC was at, and I'm struggling. How much you guys will be struggling as well, right? In in that scenario. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna do that, and then I'll just uh I'll just end turn. I think. 
that's fine because we're doing this that bleed will send him to the right and then we can only do range up which we have range as well okay so that's fine i'll do that as well <laughs> i'm gonna wait for lr derriere to bully this rat i don't think lr derriere is gonna be the unit for this you think uh Qu queen dm will be on anniversaries queen dn um yeah, possibly, possibly. I mean, I, I hope Valentine's Queen Deanne is on there, though. I hope she's on there, right? I think Valentine's Queen Deanne is a more uh, desirable Deanne at this point in the game. You know, she she's uh, more useful. Um... Alrighty, let's send him back to the middle. I like Jerry. He's still 600,000 guild boss score. True, true, true. Alright, let's do this. Let's do... Uh, we'll do that. I'll do that. And then, uh, yeah, we can just end turn. I'll kill next turn, bro. Like, I'll kill next turn. I'll get Meliodas ultimate. Oh, no, I can't. I'll just do this, then. Indira, Mazi, and Derriere will be the squirrel units, trust. Before people ask, yes, Demon King Meli will be on the JP Annie banner. I mean, Gumbo, you know. I'll say not 100% right now, but I do think that most likely, yes. Because the thing is, I feel like the only reason we had Perg Meli on last year's Annie banner was because of LR Meli. Like, I think that was the, actually you know, the only reason why. But, I do agree with you. I think it is happening, though. Um, I do agree. Uh, hey, amazing. I'm, uh, I'm a returning player. First time back since Trader Melly. Do you do account reviews and uh, where you can give me some advice and heroes I have uh, where to focus? Yes, I do account reviews, guys. Uh, only personal account reviews for my uh, for my members. If you do want to become a member and get an account review, uh, feel free, though. Uh, I'm definitely not opposed to, uh, you know, new people getting in. And, uh, yeah, if you, if you do want to get in, then, uh, feel free to become, it's a, uh, Eternal Sim membership, Eternal Sim, and you can get it. Not just a regular membership, because I have it, you know, for, like, the, the, the main supporters. Um, yeah. That, that is how, if you want to get a personal account review, if you want just, like, advice, then, you know, you don't have to spend money, you can just ask me in chat, and I'm honestly okay to give advice, um, for sure. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, Jelly King also Valentine's unit, but he shows up in banners. That's true. That is very true. So I hope Valentine's Yen, you know, is, uh, about to buy myself a review right now, for real. <laughs> Yo, Myeongchi, you don't need one, though. I'm telling you, my reviews for whales are, I feel like, are the worst, like, like, paid things. I feel like it's just because you guys want it. Literally, my reviews for whales is, guys, thanks for flexing on me. Um, this is what I would do if I was in your position, and that's pretty much it. Like, because, because, you know... You're already a will and you have most of the things done, so I don't really have much to critique your account. That's why I don't feel like I can really help a will. Um, yeah. I'll see you, Shock. I'm about to buy myself a review, too. Yamcha yeah, Crazy Well, amazing should review my 3 million box. Review, review for wills? Yeah, that, 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 pretty much. That, that literally is it whenever I review a wills account. Make sure to do your dailies and, uh, you know, log on every day and... Um, yeah, I'll see you summoning on the next unit, you know? <laughs> it's like, bro, I don't know what else to say. It actually is crazy, though. I've had a few people, like, actually send me their whale accounts to, to review, and it'd be, like, 14, 15 million, even better than my main account, and they'd be like, yeah, amazing, what do I need to do? I'm like, bro, <laughs> yo, what are you talking about? What do you mean, what do you need to do? Bro, you know what to do, you know? So, I, I get a few people like that, I'm, like, kind of confused, you know? Um, it is, it is pretty funny, though, it is pretty funny. Um... I think they're more so just doing it just because they want to support the channel and and they're like yo why not, but um I don't know you know I think it's just, I think it's more so funny than than anything. Uh, let's do yeah we could just end turn we could just end turn I'll just move cards then. You think Queen Liz will be on the anniversary? I do I do think Queen Liz will rerun. But yeah she I feel like she has to I feel like Queen Liz has to be on anniversary, um but I don't know about DK Melly though guys I'm I'm a little hesitant to say he he will rerun. But I think it is a possibility. I I, I won't say 100% though. But I do think it is a possibility he does rerun though. Um, advice for uh, whales is, uh, should be to recharge daily. Yep. To spend some money. Yes, sir. Buy buy another pack. Refresh. Right? Um, it has to be DK Melly. When was his last banner or rerun? Uh, the last time he was available was New Year's. So New Year's of 2024. Going into 2024. So yeah, no. not a, It's been a long time pretty much since so uh let's do that uh we could do this and then i think a melee single target does kill that right some but let's see 
She won't be able to go to the right if I kill the right stomp. Can't refresh if there's nothing left to buy. True, true. DK Melly about to be mile 2.0. We'll see, man. Chaos Arthur is not rerunning during anniversary. That's 100%. I can say that. Chaos Arthur is not rerunning. Um, he, he, Chaos Arthur is not rerunning till November, at the earliest. And then I don't think I don't think Golther's rerunning till New Year's. Like I'll be honest, guys. I, I just don't I just don't see it. <laughs> I just don't see it. It's kind of crazy, honestly. All right, let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, let's do. I guess I gotta rip this, and then uh, yeah, we could just. I'll make sure I'll AoE. Uh, just make sure we kill. This Sysum is dead though, okay. Arthur do be mid no cap? That's crazy. That's crazy. Arthur is still super good, guys. Let's relax. With the account review, can you review my account by beating the new <laughs> demonic beats? No, no, I'm not gonna beat content for you. I'm gonna explain how uh, how you can go about it. And I can recommend team comps, and and I can rec I can send you to some of my videos to watch specific guides on things you might need help on. But I can't do the content for you. That's just too much time that that I won't I wouldn't be able to do. You know, uh, don't kind of counter review then. Uh, Yamcha, if you request that, sure, bro. I mean, I don't know what I'd really say for no kind of counter review, but sure, if you if you want to request that. All right, let's do this. I guess we'll do, um. I think a DK melee single target actually does finish it off. So I actually will do uh I actually will do this and then Actually no. I'm gonna do this, this, that'll kill, and then I'll do this to cleanse. And then I'll just waste cards. I'll waste uh, that since we have another uh, bleed. Uh other game reviews now I'll buy that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm, hel how I'm helping in those reviews, though. I don't know how I'm helping in those reviews. Alright, Valenti is definitely the lowest HP there, guys. So, she might get targeted a lot here. And it could be a little unfortunate here. Um, let's do attack into this. And I'll do shock. I'll do shock and attack into this. Uh, For mid training, I'm fighting for mid mans. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Any whales if you run out of uh, things to buy, uh, my account will have things. Damn, so GL's like, yo, send, send me something then if y'all are going to be buying stuff. That's funny. Alright, let's do uh, Liz ult. We could do uh, Liz attack card. I'll do Glox AoE. And I think I'll single target the... He's going to he's gonna go to the left, bro. He is going to go to the left, I feel like. I'll do the middle though, screw it. Amazing, are you a veteran player on Dokkan? I've played, uh, like, a good amount of Dokkan. Um, I don't play anymore, though. Like, I'll be honest. I haven't logged on since, like, last... Oh, wow, he went to the middle. I don't know why he does that. I, I don't know why he does that. It's so weird. I mean, I'll take it. It's a W, but I don't know why he did that. Um, okay, let's do... Uh, DK Meliol, right? That's gonna do a lot. Um, let's do... I think they have damage cap, though, right? I'm not gonna be able to kill them. Yeah, they do have damage cap. And I'll do, uh, Gloxinia ult? Because I feel like the side, this one's dead. No way. No way he lives. I feel like with all stats as well. Oh, see? Boom. Yeah, it has to be dead. It has to be dead. No way. Boom. Yeah, Valencia actually does hit pretty hard though, guys. That's one thing I will give her. She actually hits a lot harder than people think she does. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much damage that did. That, that's a lot of damage, actually. Um, so she does deal a lot, um, which is pretty good, and that's that, and that is exactly what you want. In floor two, there's no real reason to make the rat move, right? Uh, yeah, not really. No, um, you could just keep him in the middle. Is this the new best team? Uh, from 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 what I've seen, yes, because you have the most amount of tanking for the entire team. Because Glocks is giving the entire team the the forty percent defense related, so I think so. I think it is the best team right now, but I'm honestly not 100% sure, though. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe someone will find another team that is better than this, right? Uh, we just don't know yet. Um, yeah, I think this is okay to do for now, and I'll just, like, I guess move Melly. Like, I don't even know. I guess her relic helps, I guess. I guess if she's getting crit on it, she does a lot of damage, right? Yeah. I mean, she is helping. For sure. 
I lost my job today. Would appreciate some advice. Camilla, man, um, hopefully it's not a job you actually, like, really did care about. Um, but if it was, man, then I'm, I'm very sorry. But, uh, you gotta, you gotta look around for another one then, man. You gotta find that, uh, find that initiative to get another one, you know? Um, I guess I will just waste an AoE here with Melee, too. To be honest, I'm a veteran of Dokkan. This is my first gacha game. That's fair. It, it was, I think it was one of my first as well. I think I've played, like... You know, those, like, I played, like, Brave Frontier and stuff. Like, I know that's a gacha game technically, too. Like, you know, Summoner's War and, like, all those old, like, gachas. But, um, yeah, no. Like, th there is a few things I have done. She does have a Holy Relic. Yeah, but it's not, like, made for this fight. It just gives her more attack for herself. Uh, but it's not, like, that insane, though. Like, her Holy Relic is not that important, I guess. You could, uh, you could put it. Um, let's do that. Uh, let's do... Actually, no, I will do this. And that'll kill, and then we could just end turn. We got uh, poison, bleed, and I can get. Uh, or no, I got shock, bleed, and I can get poison again when I get her ultimate. Yeah, so I think this is fine. We could just finish it off. That's that's killing. Haven't beat floor, be beaten floor three since yesterday. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't. No. Uh, let's see. Going into phase three, guys. Do I tank? We did get the worst passive there. Do I have the rank up passive? I don't either. These are kind of some bad passes, though. I'll be honest, man. Um, Yeah, see, going into this phase now, do you guys think I'm tanking? He has double rank, too. I think I'm dead, guys. I think I actually I'm just dead here. And this is why I said that I think Valenti, if you were not clearing, um, it's going to be tough. And also, like, if this is just bad RNG on my part, like, getting the defense buff, I think, would save me here. Um, but then again, you don't get the defense buff, you're dead. At least with, like, higher box CC players, like, if you're a whale... You have some, you know, some leeway. You could actually, like, tank these double rank 2 AoEs. But, bro, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think I'm dead here. Uh, what, what is this effect, anyway? I, I need to translate it. Is, is this just triple pierce rate? Let me translate this. I need to translate what this effect is. Because it hits so hard, bro, for no reason. Let me see. Google translate. It's weak point. No wonder it hits so hard. It's weak point. Yeah, it, it's weak point. So that's why it's hitting so hard. 200% AoE weak point. Like, no wonder, bro. Yeah, no, and that's tough. And that's tough. So right here, guys, I might just be dead. I'm not going to lie. But we'll try it regardless. Um, You know, we'll, we'll, we'll try and see what happens. But I think I am dead here. Um, I don't think there's really anything I can do. I'll do this. I do think I just die here, though. Let's see. Let's see. Boom. There we go, shock. AoE with Liz. That, that's a fire heal, though, from Liz. But, like, I don't know, man. The damage, guys. This is double rank, too. So, let's see. Do we live? Okay. Rank 2, though, man. Look how much that does. Nah, bro. Like, that's way too much damage, guys. Oh, I live, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, okay, so if you if you do somehow tank that, then W, but I feel like on a high roll, he would have killed me right there. Right, on a high roll, that guy is killing me. Bro, that is crazy. So you see, like, how close it is. Like, Valenti is living on, on a prayer, bro. You know, she living on a prayer. <laughs> like, bro, it's tough, bro. All team would have, would, uh, would have, would have died easy. That's true. You could definitely argue Merlin would have died as well. But, um, yeah, no, right? Like, that, that is another thing as well. Netmarble definitely calculated this. Maybe, man. All right, let's do bleed to send him to the right, and then we'll kill the right stump. So, I'll have to do... Wait, I don't... I'll actually, I actually don't think that would kill. Let me do this, this. Um... Let me think, actually. Movie we'll able to kill you guys? Damage cap. 33% as well. 33% damage cap is kind of crazy. Oh, I'll see yeah, I got him, I got him. Yeah, my mom is just leaving for work, y'all, so. There we go. Alrighty, um, okay, alt, attack, and then, uh, I either... I feel like I have to double attack with melee here. I could send him to the right. I can't send him to the middle. Um, yeah, no, I have to, I think I have to just kill. I think I'll just do this. I think I'll just do this. Now it was scripted, lol. Maybe Netmarble's watching this and was like, amazing, has to get a win now so people can buy this unit. You know, maybe maybe that's the idea, guys. Uh, let's see. Does live barely, though. Okay, so I had to do that. And right, there we are.
they would do that. Yeah, see, this is the attack without a debuff on us, though. Then we're tanking, right? Without the debuff, we're fine. But when we're debuffed? Ooh. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. It's a tough situation when we're debuffed. All right, let's see. Okay, let's do that. Send him back to the middle. Uh, let's do... Here, wait. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Then this. And then that. And actually send him back to the middle. Hopefully Valenti... Yeah, Valenti doesn't do too much. Valenti takes the most damage. Yes, she's the most, like... The, the most, uh, like... She just takes the most of all three of the... Or of all, all four of the units on the team. It makes sense, though. Right? Melly's getting a ton of basic stats himself. Right? Gloxinia. Oh, actually, no. Melly's not getting basic stats, actually. Because he's not run on Sins on the team, actually. Oh. Oh, my gosh. If we got attacked follow-up there, we would have died, guys. 100% we would have died. 100% we would have died just now. Alright, let's do that. Let's do this. And then that, and I think we're good to go. Amazing, do you have that sleeper build? Maybe I do, guys. Maybe I do got that sleeper build. We did proc the full heal on him, too, so he got the all stats there. He did get the all stats there. Um, He has 5% extra all stats now. We did kill the side, guys. Valenti's still... Yeah, exactly. She has the same stats as the original Awakened Valenti's. That's why she feels a little weak still, Uh, you know? It's still kind of the same, guys, so... There is that. Um, let's waste this. Let's waste that, and let's waste that as well. We don't. We don't need any of those cards, right? We just need. Um, yeah, we really don't even need those cards. Actually, yeah, we don't. I don't know how much HP I had there when I did survive that one attack, but bro, I must have had like one HP or something. It must have been like no HP. Um, we do get the all stats buff now. This is looking like a good run as long as we just don't get like absolutely rolled here. Actually, I think I can kill from this range. I think I can. I'm gonna do this, this, and an AoE. And I think that's enough. Let's see. It depends if Melly can do it, but I think we got the all stats on top of it. Let's see. Okay, guys, I think we beat floor two. Let's see floor three. Floor three is where I'm really, like, curious to see, you know? I am really curious to see floor three. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so floor two, we actually did beat first try somehow. Um, well, well, let's go. W, I guess. Um, okay, another two of those. W, W. Alright, the real, the real test, right, for this Valenti to be worth on my free-to-play account, I need to be floor three with her. If I can't be floor three with her and it's still the same thing as me running the other, uh, the Merlin and, and the Jelly King, this is bad passive though too, yeah. But, uh, then again though, right, you know, because it's Valenti, you should still be able to go through it even with kind of, you know, bad passes. I think when Freya was out, I think you were still able to beat it with some bad passes for the most part. But yeah, no. Let's let's see, though. I've not actually done Floor 3 with this Valenti on my free-to-play account. Let's see how it goes, right? Um, let's see here. So, um, so what was it again? It was this, 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 and then waste that. And then we can do a thing. The passes... I think floor 3 with those passes you were cooked. So we got... Uh, this is the ignore 40% defense, which is the best one on that. This is the one where if you don't damage him, he gets attacked, which is a bad passive. But, you know, if as long as I'm damaging him, it's okay. And then this one is where he builds up 2% attack per turn up to 5. So he gets... He, so pretty much he has 10% extra attack when he normally wouldn't. That's the only thing that's different right here, guys. That is the only thing that's different, so... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see, let's see. This Valenti will be worth, in my opinion, if I am able to get that floor 3. But again, I still think it's going to be based on your box CC for the most part. Because um, right there on that on that floor 2, phase 3, you guys saw, I only live with like 1% HP, bro. Like, I could have just died right there and I'd have to reset. You know, obviously, if I had another buff card with Liz, I think it would be a lot smoother. But that's why I mean is that the higher your box CC and the more stats you got, the less leeway you got on situations like that where you wouldn't need a, uh, you know, a buff card with Liz, right? Whereas when your lower boxes, there's more RNG involved, it's going to take you longer. So, yeah, that, that's what it is at the end of the day, I think. Um, let's do the attack right here with Liz. Let's do um, uh, AoE here. Single target with Melee. And I will do the other attack card with Liz as well. Condor de no banda. Ba, ba, ba. Melly also, like, because there's less seeds at the end, I also feel like he does less damage, too. You know? 
You know, I feel like he also just does less damage too. Obviously, I haven't built up Valenti fully. But, bro, the damage is kind of feeling a, a little bit weak sometimes, man. My first gacha game was uh, Ultimate Ninja Blazing. W, W. Okay, let's see. Um, we can kill this. So, if I do... Bleed sends him to the right, right? Yeah, so I don't want to waste that. So I could maybe do this and then spam these cards actually. I'll move that and then use this as well. It'll send him back to the middle. But I hope we kill the left arm. Right? I hope we do kill the left arm here. If we at least kill the left arm, we can send him back to the right. Okay, we're good. Perfect. And now this is just about dealing damage to that middle uh, middle thing right there. If we can deal enough damage, then we'll be showing. Oh wait! Actually we don't want to do that. Reset. Because I remembered that this phase you need all three debuffs to keep him to the right. So there's no reason to do that. No, I'm actually not going to debuff him. I'm actually not going to debuff him there. My first and last got my first and last gacha is seven daily sins. That and that's completely fair, bro. I don't like I don't know like I like gacha games like because they 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 are like uh entertaining you know. Um, I think the one thing that I think is is the problem though with gachas is that they're very predatory and. You know, if you fall into a stump, you will be spending money and it's going to feel like ass when you're not getting anything you want. I um, mean, that's why they're very dangerous. But I think they are fun. If you play them free to play, if you enjoy it free to play, you know, you'll be fine. Um, don't stress about it. You know, just because someone's better than you, they just spent more money than you. It don't make them better. You know, it, it don't make them better than you. If anything, you're better by not spending because you saved all that money they spent. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I don't know. Gacha games are tough though, for sure. I I do I do uh, dislike the way they are. I think Grand Cross for the most part is a fairly free to play one of Gacha games like I've played uh, in the past. Definitely do think it's one of the more free to play friendly ones, and that's how I'm able to use my free to play account and still be successful. But um, yeah, no, overall though, it it is definitely tough, man. I agree. Um, I do agree though. I do agree. It is kind of tough. Hmm. I'll do that, and I'll rip this single target too. If that doesn't kill, it is what it is, and I'm gonna get the ultimate. Now, Marvel, please don't listen to Amazing. <laughs> I gotta be honest about their product, though, man. You know, it, even though I am like a partner creator, I hope you guys know I got it. I'm still gonna be as unbiased as possible. I'm not gonna, you know, stray away from, you know, telling you guys the honest, honest truth. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. <laughs> Bop. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I'm going to actually waste this card too as well. So we have poison. Oh, we have actually all three of the cards we need actually. We can move into the next phase. I just need to get another Liz buff card. And then we'll be good to go. The bad thing about gacha games is if you don't pull new units for months to begin uh, to question, you begin to question why you are saving gems for. Yeah, that is very true. You know, it makes you actually think about what you're doing as well. You know, um, that is another thing as well, guys. So, yeah, man, uh, a lot of a lot of things you gotta think about as a, as being a gacha player. It is very annoying. I do agree sometimes, but uh, yeah, that's just how it's gonna be. All right, so we just gotta kind of waste our ultimates here, I guess. Um, I'm gonna waste this card. I'm gonna waste that because we have another release which counts. I'll waste this as well And I don't think that kills. I don't think that kills That's why gotcha games with pity systems are better I agree and that's why I say Grand Cross for the most part is a fairly free-to-play friendly gacha game Like you're able to hit pity on every festival if you play the game enough, you know, and that's and that's a good thing That's a good thing that keeps your players uh, Grinding, you know, if, if, if I tell you you can get every festival uh, You know on their release if you're saving enough gems you know, why wouldn't you do that? You know what I mean? Why wouldn't you go for it, right? I think it's just it's just a big W. It's something that is pretty pretty dope, so. Uh, yeah, man. Grand Cross is one of the most generous gotchas for sure. I, I, I can definitely attest to that. It, it's, it's one of the most generous gotchas. I'm going to waste this single target now, actually. Then this. Then this. I'm going to let this merge as well. Alright, now we need to still get a... Yeah, we get Meliodas Ultimate, and we need to get a... What is it? A Liz buff card. Yeah, that's what we need. We need a Liz buff card. I disagree, Aaron. Have you seen Dragon Ball Legends? Yeah, that's more worse than Dokkan. 
Oh, we got a buff card, W. Oh, we're good. We're good to go. We can move into the next phase. Wait, this is seeming like a good run, though. I'll be honest. So far, this run is good. Um, okay, let's see. Dokkan's no still worse, yeah. Alright, there we are. Ulted. Let's see. Um, let's do... Uh, this. Actually, no, we can't ult yet. We have to use this attack card. But I'll let this merge. And then, yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine moving into the next phase. We have vault. We have the three. Should be good to go. I play GC, Genshin, and from time to time, Honkai Star Rail. In Genshin, it's pretty easy to not feel the need to spend money. The difference is nearly useless. Yeah. No, exactly. Like, you know, uh, that, that is definitely uh, a very important thing about Genshin too, right? Um, so what was the order again? I got to pull my Google Doc. It is shock. Let me see. Use the cards in this order. First shock, second bleed, third poison. First shock, second bleed, third poison. And then uh, we can just we can just uh, end turn. Yeah, yeah, we just end turn. What other games you play? Amazing. Um, I don't really play too many other games, honestly, man. Um, as of late though, I have been playing. Uh, I've been playing Content Warning uh, with uh, with ZDB and Levi, the uh, Honkai Star Wars YouTubers. Um, I've been playing with them. Um, but other than that, though, I just be playing uh, Warframe, man, on, on my free time. You know, I just love I love playing Warframe. The grind is fun. Oh, and I've also been, actually been playing AFK Journey, dead ass. So if you guys actually want to play that game, join Server One. You know, hop on. You know, we need people in the guild that actually play. <laughs> it's, it's very funny, but it's true. It's true though. Um, okay, we DK Melio, we all with Liz, we cleanse, and I'm gonna rip the ultimate with Gloxinia as well. You know, oh wait, the stance remove is gonna be tough without other seeds of the end applicators. Wait, so how am I gonna move him? Okay, wait. DK Melly, excuse me? That's the first time my DK Melly has not one banged the stumps. Yeah, I don't know, man. Guys, I don't know. I'll be honest, bro. I'll be honest. 100% honest with you guys. The, the the tanking for everyone else but Valenti feels good. Right? You guys see it. And honestly, even Valenti on this phase looks fine too. My damage, like, because it's a build-up damage increase for attack related, Melly is just not hidden like that. Another thing too is Melly's not able to apply Seeds of the End other than from himself. So, being able to apply Seeds of the End from having Merlin and, and King with the other team was a, it felt a lot better with Melly. You know what I mean? It just felt a lot better. I don't know why Glocks doesn't act as a... Uh, you know, he's a... Okay, make this make sense, chat. How does Melly... How is Melly able to use Commandments as a link, but he doesn't work alongside Commandments for his Seeds of the End? That don't even make sense. I don't understand that. I don't understand that either. Um, that's another thing that doesn't make sense to me. Why doesn't Glocks at least act as a Seeds of the End applicator? He doesn't apply that, you know? Maybe Melly needs to be replaced on this team, guys. Maybe, you know, maybe Melly is the one to get replaced because he, he obviously does a lot of damage. If we get a new damage dealer for this fight, he could easily get replaced because Seeds of the End right now, I feel like is the problem, right? I don't know, man. I don't know, yo. I don't know, yo. <laughs> I don't know. I have to follow up now. Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, then this, and I'm gonna ult with Gloxinia into that right stump because it tanked it before. So yeah, see I don't know how it tanks that. My my melee should just one bang that, right? That should be a guaranteed one bang. Um, okay, but let's attack the other stump and then we'll force him onto that one stump. And then I guess from this point on it's just cycling Liz ult and just keeping us alive that way, right? Like I I don't know what else. And bro, yeah, no. Melly should have worked with humans and and uh, and fairies too. Just work with everybody. <laughs> just work with everybody. Melly should have just worked with everybody. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna have to do the updated Ratatosker guide though with this Valenti. So I will probably drop that next week when I do get the Valenti on my global. Um, yeah. So I will definitely be trying that. Okay, he's gonna stand up next turn. Um, I guess I have to do this. I have to do this because I have to get the uh, thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bless me. Alrighty. <laughs> there we go. We apply one and then a Demon King Melee Ultimate will strip it, right? Um, so we have that. 
It's all. It's not. It's not as like bad being manageable because you just have to get a melee ult to stand strip and you have at least one C to the end. Thank you, Bardock. But um, and thank you, Yagamichi. But yeah, no, like, uh, you know, it would it would be uh, pretty helpful if we could uh, if we could bypass that though. I guess Valenti here. Valenti is nice here though. I, I can't even lie. Valenti is really nice here because she can actually cleanse our debuffs, which I think is really nice. So we could do like this shock, and that's gonna cleanse the debuff right there. Glax might still get dissolved, but that's still fine. Right, um, and I'll do this, and I'll do um, alt with uh, Elizabeth in the attack room. Thank you, Forge. Uh, well, anyway, it's amazing. I gotta go. Going to work. See ya, and have a good stream. I appreciate you, Lone Wolf. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, man. Since when did you start your free to play account? Back when Ultimate Escanor released. When Ultimate Escanor released, that's when I started it. Wow, we're getting really luck with these Liz cards, man. Okay, we we actually might have a uh, a win condition on our hands here, guys. We might actually got one. We actually might have a win condition on our hands here, which is crazy. I gotta sneeze again, y'all. <laughs> you know when you're like waiting for a sneeze because it's like right there, but you can't sneeze. That's only me right now, bro. Like I have it right there. I'm about to, I'm about to sneeze, but I don't know, man. Don't jinx it. I'm not trying to jinx it. I'm just trying to let you guys see what what the the chance is of winning this year. We have a Liz buff card. We can cleanse. You know, we got a lot of things going going well for us here. Valenti being the lowest going into this phase is bad though. This is this is kind of bad. Okay, not bad. We can still win with that with that passive. Um, that's okay. Let's do this. So, I want him to move on the right, right? Yeah, that's what it was. So, I'll do this. Let's do this. Let's do shock. Let's do single target with melee onto this because he has all, all creation. And I'm at AoE, I think, as well. I never thought I'd see the day where you bring, where I bring Tyr into Heroes Arena and he can't deal enough damage. True, 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 true. Condor no banda. Bop, bop, bop. That did like no damage though. All right, let's see. He should go left. Stays middle. Really? Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna send him back to the to the right though. Right. We gotta use like poison shock and bleed. Okay, he's critting. This is where he has the separate card. This is why people were saying critical defense is the way to go. Um, Elizabeth though, even though she's getting crit on, she's fine. Yeah, Valenti being lowest HP is kind of bad though, bro. I don't know. Um, okay, let's do DK Meliol. And then, because that'll give me a full thing. I'll do this, this, and single target kill the left stump. And we gotta send him to the middle. This actually could be a win, though, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This could be a win right here. Valenti is uh, is kind of cooking right now, though. Melee doesn't really work with this team. Yeah, that that is one thing you will notice with this fight. Uh, Melly doesn't really feel like he, he's working too well, though. Okay, that all did kind of a good chunk of damage. Attacking Glox. Glox is fine. Okay. Attacking Valenti. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cleanse. All right. So how am I gonna move this guy? Now we just gotta test to see if we can move him, right? If I do this, then this, and then attack him, maybe. Cause we're not applying a debuff here, we're not gonna move him. I'll do... No, I'll just waste this. I, I wanna see, like, if there's any way we can move him, though. Like, just by attacking. Is there a way? Or does it have to be double the same debuff or all three of the, the things we're using before? Cause I don't really know. But I, I also don't have all three debuffs anyway. It's not like I can move him. Let's see, where does he go? I'll pause the game. Right, right, right. Oh! See, I just attacked her. I don't know how that works. I still don't know how that works to this day. To this day, I still don't know how that works, guys. Okay, let's see. Um, attacks onto Liz. Okay. Ow. Okay, so let's do... Valenti ult. Meliodas ult. 
Elizabeth attack and Elizabeth attack or Elizabeth all Elizabeth attack card. Melly would be doing more damage too if like we were able to apply Sid's Dan a lot easier too. Don't move to the right. He stays! Good, good. I don't know how I managed to keep him there as well. This is also feeling like a really good run, bro. Wow. <laughs> it's going well. It is going well. Surprisingly. Oh. Oh, those, those are the food poisonings. There's the food poisonings. I am surviving with that. Well, let's not jinx it, y'all. Let's not jinx it, y'all. I am also getting very lucky with my Liz cards too, I feel like. Alright, let's do that. Let's do the release card with, with Valenti. Um, let's do this this right here. And I'm gonna do the Liz attack card. I think that's enough to kill that stump. Paid rat scripted? You know, maybe guys, maybe. Uh brought him dead. Thank you for the sub. You know what's so unfortunate too? I wasn't recording this run. If I do beat this, I I'm not recording it, so I'll have to clip this from my actual stream. It's gonna be bad quality. I don't know. Okay guys, we have a chance, no? Now we just have to stall with Liz, right? We just have to stall with Liz and live. Um, I feel like it is doable from this point on. Let's just see though. Let's not jinx it though. I can do it, I can do it. I can do it, I can do it. Oh my god. Uh, let me just waste these, waste this, I guess. Like, I don't know. We don't need those ults though. Why is it bad quality if you take it from the stream? Explain, please. Because when I download it from YouTube, the YouTube always keeps it at a certain, like, you know, uh, aspect ratio when I download it. So it's not as high quality. Uh, whereas, like, um, why no Melio? Oh, uh, I, I guess I could have ulted with Melio there, too. It's okay. I was trying to hold on to it, though, for, like, the following turns. Um, but anyways. I think, I think we're okay, though. I think we actually do win this, guys, just because we can cycle. Because we can cycle Liz ultimate very easily here. Um, okay. Ow. Okay, let's do... Uh, okay, we'll DK Melly ult now. Let's do that. Actually, no, we want to hold on to that. DK Melly ult, this, this, and then I'll waste the, uh... I guess the Valenti attack, or why not? DK Melly does 600k only? I don't know if that's a damage cap as well, guys. That could be damage cap, and I just don't know. <laughs> that could be damage cap. Let's see. Bop, bop. Okay, she's kind of hidden, though. She's kind of hidden low-key. That damage though is helping her. Um, okay. Give me another melee card. Melee cards. Okay. Not that bad. Okay. With that damage though, damage reduction she gets from her ultimate, she is kind of tanking. I can't even lie. She is kind of tanking from that. All right. Let's do that, that, uh, let's do that, and I'll get ultimate next turn. I think we finish it off next turn, guys. Like, we'll get another food poisoning, but I think we win. I don't, I don't think I can kill with this. I'll try, I'll try, but I don't think I kill with this. Let's see. Because Valenti went into the phase lowest HP. Oh, Reese. 700k, it's not enough, it's not enough. I'm going to reset, and I'm going to hold on to one of those cards, and I think we can actually clear, though. Damn, this is a win though, I think, guys. I mean, as long as I don't mess up this last, like, portion, I think this is a win. Um, and we will make my own relic on the free-to-play account, which is kind of crazy. Um, but that, wow. Um, good showing, I guess. I wasn't recording though, I didn't think I'd actually get the run first try. I thought I would still be struggling. Um, yeah, no. Has my opinion really changed of Valentia? I think Floor 2 Phase 3 is where the opinion matters, I think, the most. Luckily, that, that I uh, made a video about that. Because I think, for most people, when they get to that part, they just give up. Um, because it is just, like, hard to tank the weak point. But once you get into floor 3, it seems like floor 3, we're pretty much tanking for the most part. The only thing I'm dying from is food poisoning. I'm not taking a ton of damage. Even when Valenti's getting targeted. And also, you still do need, you know, the RNG on Liz card top decks and all that. Like, I only got Liz cards this entire phase, too. So that is really, really lucky as well. Um, yeah, no. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, next turn, melee single target, melee all should win. Yeah, exactly. So, we'll just do one of them, and then I'll rank up again next turn, and, and we should be good to go. So, I'll do uh, this right here. We'll do this buff card. We'll do that, and I'm just going to waste this card, too. And then next turn, we got the melee rank 3 single target. We got the 
um, the ultimate as well. So that should definitely finish him off next turn. And then we're good to go. There we are. But it does look like a win. Uh, yeah. Valenti is, uh, is good for that. Is definitely good for that. Let's see. Okay. So that's going to apply the food poisonings again. Okay. I don't know why it shows, like, multiple of the debuffs being applied and then it doesn't. Like, I don't know why it does that. Yo, tank? Oh my god. I don't even know if this actually kills, guys. I don't even know, actually. Actually, don't even know if this does kill or not. Let's see. I might have, I might have to single target. Yeah, I, I might try what Reese said. I might have to single target first. Let's see. Floor 3? Floor 3? Vlanti is worth it, then. She is worth it. But I, I think it still comes down to your box EC if it is worth it or not. I think still to the end of the at the end of the day, guys, it still comes down to that. But it was a lot smoother. I'll, I'll give it that. I mean, yeah, it was a lot smoother. I think once you get past floor two, phase three, then it's not that bad. Um, I don't know how I was moving him left and right though, but floor three clear on the free to play account? Question mark exclamation mark. <laughs> scripted clearly <laughs> yo is not marvel like amazing let's get this run just so we can not lie to the people and, and tell them that this is a must summon nah i still i still don't think she's a must summon though um obviously you guys saw i did beat that i feel like a lot of the things were going in my favor that run guys i'm not gonna lie bro i'm not gonna lie man i feel like a lot of things were going in in that run you know i literally had a liz card every turn that fight so i feel like it's still gonna be rng reliant uh, now let's see the winning gear sets again. It was critical defense on Valenti. It was critical defense. Critical defense middle pieces. So, they do matter, uh, for, for a good chunk, I'd say, yeah. Um, yeah, no. Let's make Miles Holy Relic, y'all! Let's go! Miel Relic! <laughs> we can actually make it now since we beat Floor 3. Where is Miel at? Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe this character that did not deserve a Holy Relic got a Holy Relic. That's crazy. Oh my god, Mile Relic. Alrighty. Uh, amazing, I screen recorded that reset, by the way, if you want uh, to post that. Uh, usually comes out pretty well for me. Oh, wait, did you really? Oh, wait. Uh, PokeDweeb, if you did, send me send me the uh, recording then, bro. Um, yeah, no, big W. So, 9.4 million box you see. There was a few times in that run, guys, where I was at, like, 1 HP. You know, there was definitely a few times I was 1 HP. There's a few times I was, like, right about to die. But she does help you beat Floor 3, if that's what you're looking to do. And if you want a replacement for Merlin on the team, she does do that. So, I guess there is that as well. Um, yeah. We'll take it, we'll take it. Elijah, thank you, man. I did, Gumbo. You actually missed it. I actually did. So, surprisingly... <laughs> I actually did. Um, there we go. It's the three jumps for actually clearing it. Um, there we go. And now we got Mile Relic. So should I try Heroes Arena now with Mile Relic? Is that going to help a ton? Since we have Miles Relic now. Let's try out Heroes Arena, y'all. Let's try out the Hero Arena. Let's try out the Heroes Arena. I didn't do a Challenger run this week yet, so we'll have to give it a shot. Oh, Valenti is also a boost unit too. I forgot, but I don't know what team I'm going to use though. Mal Relic is stupid good. Oh yeah. So if I run my L on my on my standard goddess team like I normally do, you think I'll, I'll you think I'll be chilling? Let's see here. I think it definitely uh, helps him a lot though, right? Catastrophes, catastrophes, catastrophes. I don't know, guys. I don't even think that's worth. I'm not gonna lie. I still don't think that's worth. I don't know, 20% all stats on a catastrophe team, I still don't think it's worth running, though. Because going second, I'm still going to take a ton of damage, though. Right? I don't know, man. Catastrophe is crazy, bro. Alright, let's put on my best. Uh, oh, these pieces I have a 22.4. 
Bro, what does this guy tell me want? He saw I made a Twitter post and was like, well, well, well. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> Amazing, you noob. Stop ignoring my chat. Sorry, Grizzly. Uh, use Green Freya in Nidog. I've done a video on that already. Uh, check out the channel, man. I've done a Green Freya video. Uh, with Valenti, by the way, yes, Calvert. Valenti is made for the fight. So, with enough RNG, it is doable. Yes, you are correct, bro. If that's what you wanted me to say. If that's what you want me to say. I'll give you guys, like, my concise thoughts tomorrow on the Should You Summon. And I'll explain everything I think about the unit and all that. But I think, like, if I was any less box DC or any less constellation than I was, uh, we were not beating Floor 3. Like, you guys saw the RNG I needed and also the way it went. Um, but yeah. It, it, it requires a lot of RNG. I still, I still don't know if I'm going to do Floor 3 every week. Because that, that run I got was really crazy. But, I mean, we'll have to see, man. We will have to see, you guys. Alright, so... Okay. It's an easy skip in my opinion. Um, if you're fine with doing floor one and two, it's a skip. It's a skip. If you're fine doing floor one and two, do not summon for this character. Um, I don't think that she's gonna be like, you know, for the most part, unless you're like a mega whale. If you're a mega whale, you know what to do. You're summoning. You know what I mean? I don't have to tell you twice. But um, yeah, no, like, it is. It is definitely, I would say, worthwhile. It is definitely worthwhile. Um, but can be a skip if if you are doing only like floor two every week. Then yeah, she's a skip. Um, you don't need her, right? Okay, so Miles' attack-related stats should be kind of crazy now, too, right? Because I just did two AoE, so we were at 20% extra attack-related stats. But who only wants to do Floor 2? People that don't want to struggle with the RNG, because you still need RNG with Valenti's team. I only beat it because I got Liz cards every turn, guys. Like, I might have to go back to the recording. I got Liz cards every turn. <laughs> I have to go back to the live stream uh, and, and download it back. So, that's crazy, though. Like, I really did get uh, the RNG every single time, which is kind of crazy, right? So, I don't know, man. Um, let's try my AoE. I think it will kill, though. Like, if I just do, like, this. Actually, no, I can't use that. This, this. My AoE. How much attack related he got? Oh, it has to be him using the AoEs? Wait, what? Why is it at zero? Wait, is it bugged? Is it bugged? Is it... Is it just him that has to use him? I thought it was Goddess Ally uses it. What? Uh, I guess it is higher, I guess, right? I guess the attack related is higher, yeah. I guess it is. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Goddess Ally. Yeah, it is Goddess Ally. Oh, but for the AoEs, it doesn't count? Wait, let me see. No, no, it says... Okay, wait, guys. Oh. Look at that. When a goddess ally uses a single target skill, the damage you deal increases by 20 up to a maximum of 60. And when a goddess ally uses a general attack skill, so AoE, your attack-related abilities increase by 10 up to a maximum of 30. So I should be getting... Like, when they AoE, when I AoE Margaret, AoE Liz, I should be getting the attack-related, no? Visual bug, it doesn't show? Wow, they're shafting my guy, my L. Alright, let's do that. Do a single target and look at the relic. Well, I'm gonna AoE here and see how much this does. You need to use an AoE to get the attack related. Bro, that hits really hard though. <laughs> Yo, that hits really hard though. Yo, what the hell? I was expecting it to hit like hard, but not like that. That's like a my L ultimate right there. Yo, that is kind of crazy. Oh my god, that is crazy! You guys know this is my free-to-play account too, so that is like, bro, that is kind of crazy, man. Uh, let's get the ultimate with Liz. His relic feels pretty insane. Okay, I'm making my relic right now. The thing is too, like, when are we gonna get another relic from the fight, right? When are we gonna get another Ratatoska relic? The next time we might get one is maybe end of the month with the live stream they do, because they only ever reveal a new holy relic like that on a live stream. At least from what we've seen, right? But like, especially from Nidhogg or, like, now Ratatosker. They've only ever shown them from things like that, so... Uh, yeah, no. Mal's pretty crazy with the Relic. He is pretty crazy. The AoEs, I felt that. I felt that, guys. That was a rank 2 spike, but still, I felt that. That is insane damage. Yeah, no. That is some insane damage, though. Alright, here we are. 
Hopping into the second team as well. Hopefully when I download back this live stream, it's not too bad. Um, cause like, yeah, no. I don't know if the, cause I didn't record anything this, this entire live stream. It's just been, uh, the live stream itself. So I'll have to download it back from YouTube. Um, hopefully it's not too bad, uh, quality wise. Usually they're kind of bad quality though. Try AAA a weed. Well, I can't just AAA a weed though, uh, on this. Cause I got, a. I got a, what's it called? Ow. Okay, um, I could triple AOE. Let's try, let's try, why not? Why not? I mean, I think I'm dead though if I do. But let's try, let's try. Maybe Mile will just cook. Maybe. Okay. Okay, Mile, it's time. It's your job. I reset because I think I think my Margaret will die. I think my Margaret will die. I think I gotta stall with that team. I can't just kill instantly. I can't I can't kill instantly, guys. I can't kill instantly. Why don't you just trust me? Amazing. I triple A weed! Queen Liz wipes probably. LR Liz probably not though. That AoE is so crazy. It is, but I didn't kill though. Like, I feel like now the Assault Melee is just going to single target one bang me now though, right? If I'm going first, like, if I was on my will account, Miles Relic is going to be cocking. Because I AoE, 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 done. Like, <laughs> and Miles is the one doing the damage, right? So, I don't know. Um, he that is, his Holy Relic is really worth for just, like, extra damage. I, I really do like it. But, I don't know if that's what the Goddesses need. I feel like he should have supported the team more, you know? Like, I don't know, guys. Maybe, maybe him being DPS is fine, though, because then, you know, they really do help him out, but... It's really good with Kusak, by the way. Uh, what do you mean? Wait, yeah, no, fighting again. I mean, we're not getting stat lowered, though, right? We're not getting stat lowered. This is PvP. We're not getting stat lowered, so all my stats are still high. Right, we're not getting stat lowered, so... Um, Kusak is not lowering our critical damage, but, like, still, you know, like, it's still crazy. Um, let's see, um... What about this? What about with damage dealt? What about with damage dealt? What are we, what are we thinking? Like, what, what about with damage dealt? Would Mile hit a little bit harder, right? An 8% extra basic stats. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's exactly what we need here. Let's see. Wow. That, honestly, he's crazy. He's crazy. I can't even lie. Yo, don't kill my, my Margaret, though. Please, bro. I think Margaret might die, though. Double AoE, never mind. Block affected. That melee sold. Alright, okay. Never mind, never mind. Try to solo single target into melee. Well, we gotta fully heal up too as well, guys. So, um, let's do that. Let's just stall here. Let's just do this. Here, wait. I'll uh, buff, buff, attack with Liz. And he's gonna lose his, uh, he's gonna lose his basic stat buffs with melee. So, we should be good. My team is relevant again. I need it. It's pretty good, pretty good. Heroes Arena is a good test to, to show how how good it is as well. Because I think, um, for the most part, like, when you're doing Heroes Arena, Miles sometimes would lack in damage. Like, I feel like he would. So now it's like we don't really lack in damage at all, and we're just hitting super hard, which is really good. So, um, yeah, no. Uh, so far, pretty nice. Can't even lie. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, let's move this. Let's use that. Let's buff card. We have They have no gauge reduction, so I can freely waste that. And then we'll attack with Mile next turn and kill the uh, kill the assault melee. Cause with the attack related up too, damn. He's also good in PvP. I tried it. Yeah, I mean, I assume he's really good in PvP as well. Um, for sure, for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, this ultimate. I'm gonna do AOE Margaret, and I hope that kills Kusat. And then I'm gonna single target Mile. Let's see. I think this is enough though, right? Let's see. Ah, oh, we'll kill us all melee. At least it's fine. Wow, that's a rank one. That's a rank one. That is a rank one. That being a rank one is crazy. Yeah, he's really good. That holy relic is good. Um, so I'm glad. I'm glad they're making good relics though, man. They need good relics, you know, like. 
I don't know. I think the only thing that I was like disappointed with when Mile got his relic was like, why didn't they wait a little longer? I feel like them releasing the relic now is like, oh, we're not gonna touch goddesses for a while, right? Because they they're like, oh, let's just give holy relics to the team from now on, and and then we won't release any more like goddess buffs. Cause they got LR Margaret, they got uh Elad as well. Um, during that like one update and Queen Liz when she did release. So I just don't think they're gonna be doing much changes again to goddesses from now on. Like, I don't know, but uh. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I would, I would think he's good in PvP too. Like, Goddesses in the PvP is a good team. Um, I don't think it's, like, a very top-tier team, but... Like, it's not it's not a numbered, like, top three, I don't think, anymore. It used to be, but... Not anymore. Considering these circumstances. Let's see. Metsu, bop. He is cooking right now though guys. That holy relic is mattering, I will say. Depends on that 6-6 Liz, I think. Oh, Nilid, welcome. Uh yeah, no, Liz being 6 out of 6 uh would definitely help your team a lot too. Queen Liz, you you pretty much need a high dupe Liz to even run the team. I agree. So yeah, for the most part, that would that would definitely help out a lot. Um, I'm gonna do Okay. Hmm. I think what I usually do is this. Yeah, I think I usually just do this. Um, because we don't want tier to get like super crazy stats, but also we want to build up some basic stats, kind of heal up a little bit too. So let's do this. How you been though, Nalid? Uh, Nalid, what's up, bro? What's up? What's up? All right, there we go. We do get another Liz buff card. That's pretty fire. Uh, they really cucked Elad. She's not even meta in Guild Boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true as well. Right. Okay, just don't don't hit uh, Margaret though. Okay, I thought it was gonna be uh, what's her name? Onto Margaret. Doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. I'm glad you're doing well as well. Alrighty. Um. Okay, so we don't have. I think right now, I guess I just gotta go for the AOEs, right? So let's do. Let's do this. Let's do that, and let's kill the tier. Let's definitely kill the tier. Um. Yeah. Let's kill the tier. Let's kill the tier. We might even kill the Freya if she's at 50 right there. I don't know if that's 50 or less. Wow, that's really close though. Oh my. Yeah, Mile after his Holy Relic though, it, it hits very hard, guys. I will definitely say that. His Holy Relic is pretty nice. Alright, let's hope that, you know, Tarmiel doesn't just like insta-die here though. And we'll be good to go, but... Yo, relax. That weak point is still hitting, bro. Okay. Okay, that doesn't hit as, as hard as it used to. Torch on. And then, yeah, that. Okay. So I'll get Elizabeth ultimate here, and then we can finish these guys off. Let's kill the, um... Here, wait. Let me do... We could do that. We could do... I think this and this would kill Brundled. And then they're not killing us. Yeah. Like, we just do that. That's less than 50, I think. If it's not, we gotta reset, though. It's less than 50. Okay, good. Alrighty, we got Liz all. We can heal up. Yeah, no, we're good. Not bad. Wow, this is wow. Goddesses feel a lot stronger on Heroes Arena. Uh, shout out to Homie Nalid in the chat. Yes, sir. I know Nalid be doing his thing. We gotta get him back on the podcast again, man. It's been a minute, you know. The Nalids always are like recurring, reoccurring guests, cause like yeah, like I don't know who else to get, you know. That's the thing as well as like who to get for guests on the podcast, and like the only like reoccurring one we do get is like Nalid. Like we've had Speedy on one time. We've had Nagato as well. We've had the lid on anything like twice or three times now. Um, yeah. I'm always down W. But I'll, I'll talk to the guys and see if we can get you in maybe uh, this coming week. We'll see. Because it's a dead week anyway. So maybe we need someone else to talk with. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah. Um, yeah. Overall though. What happened to Speedy? Guys, uh, we talked to Speedy after the... Uh, after that one time we had him on the podcast, but the guy's he's a nurse now, guys. He's working in uh in healthcare, you know. So shout out to Speedy. You know, if you guys ever have to go to the hospital, Speedy will be there to help y'all out. So uh, <laughs> I don't know if he I don't know if he wanted me to say that, but you know, um I don't know if I was even allowed to say that. But anyways, like yeah, Speedy, Speedy is doing his own thing. He he's a busy guy. He's a busy guy. So shout out to Speedy, man. Shout out to the guy Speedy. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think on this fight, uh, you do lose Margaret. Yeah, so I think Margaret does die from the single target. W leaks, yeah. 
Yeah, Margaret does die, but we're still okay. Uh, I can text now in the Discord. Where do you want me to send the clip? Uh, just DM me. DM me personally, uh, Pokedream. DM me personally. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good. Okay, let's do... Amazing doxing as always. Wow. I, I don't mean to. I don't mean to if I do. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to help him out. I'm trying to let y'all know about him. You know what I mean? Okay, let's do that. Let's do this and then AoE. I think that'll do a good chunk of damage. Mile will will still be losing some basic stuff, but I mean the attack related. We should still be hitting pretty hard. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. It's not enough though. Full heal though. Full heal from Liz though is fire. Damn, guard, bro. I gotta vouch for guard for the next one, bro. When they when they announce the next uh partner program, I'm vouching for guard. I'm I'm gonna have to let the devs know. I'm gonna have to let them know, guys, because Gar is, uh, he is a true, uh, part of the community, man. Okay, let's see. Let's do... I'm gonna do the attack buff. Let's do this heal card. And then we can do that into the mono. We killed the mono, though. Rank 2 Mael. I know we lost an ally, but rank 2 Mael has to kill. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. You know when Global gets gems? You should get it end of this month, Nalid. Uh, yeah, you should get it end of this month. So last month, I, I talked to Beats because he got in the program too. And same with Sora. They didn't get their gems at the end of uh, at the end of March. Because they got in right before that. Um, but yeah, no, you should get it by the end of April. They usually hand it out around the end of the month. Um, so yeah, you should be getting your gems then. And then, uh, yeah. And just make sure you have... Uh, promotional video for like paid promotion on like every video you do as well because they, they're pretty like uh not stingy about it but they they want to make sure you're doing that so just make sure you have that on as well uh but no biggie yeah 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 it, it's end it's end of every month pretty much at pretty much whenever there's like a new big banner at the end of the month they usually drop it around that time uh so that's when you can expect it yeah gar i gar i say Keep grinding, bro. Keep grinding. When they do open up that program again, guess what? You're the you're, you're the first person they're adding in. Like, of anyone that they could add, you would be the first one, bro. So, definitely, uh, yeah, I'll start enabling that. Yeah, just make sure, like, every video from, like, the moment you got in the program has that as well. And, uh, you should be good. You don't have to go to, like, a bunch of old videos. Just make sure you start doing it from now on. Um, and that's the way they like to have it. Uh, yeah. You should be good, though. You should be good. I'll see that. And then Miley, we, I think, does kill here. So, let's do that. What's up, Ano? Uh, how have you been, bro? Welcome to the stream. Alrighty. So we did lose Margaret, but this is still a W run. I just gotta get a mile ult or even an AoE here, and I think we're good to go, guys. Because this final fight against this, like, Eren, LR, Escanor fight is not bad if you can still do it without Margaret. So, yeah, we beat this, then, I mean, hey, mile relic is definitely a really good relic. For sure, for sure. Um... Is Lanty Holy Relic good for the rat? It helps her more for her damage herself, right? It gives her more damage if you're if you're looking for damage on that character specifically. Um, but it's not it's not like the relic's buffing the team. It's more so just for her tanking because of the the stats on the relic, and then also the fact that you know you would be uh, dealing a lot more with your with your damage because your attack increases as well. So um, that that's pretty much it though, right? Um, okay, let's do. Let's do that. Let's do that. Actually, no, it's not cleanse. Let's do the attack up, then this, and I'll and I'll try single target shot AOE. I'm an AOE. I'm an AOE. We'll get top decks. I want the attack related to just be hitting, man. I want I want to see how hard we're hitting. Let's see, so there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so it's not too hard right there, cause uh. We didn't really get too much going. Okay. If I can get a Tarmiel ultimate too, then uh, that would definitely help us a lot. Askinor, oh my god, relax. Askinor gotta relax, bro. That guy is hitting. That guy is hitting. Let's do that. Um, let's do the attack up. And let's see if that this single target actually kills the Arthur like straight up. Um, we only have three of us alive right here, so it, it could be kind of hard for us to do. Let's see. I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. 
You've got to be kidding me, bro. Ah, uh, bro. I'm not even going to reset. I'm going to let it happen. I'm going to let it happen, guys. I'm not even going to reset. I'm going to let it happen. That Escanor, relax. Ah, uh, relax. Relax. Escanor's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we're good. All right. I think double A we here from my L. If it doesn't kill, guys, it should, like, it should... It should kill everybody. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this kills everybody. And then, uh, yeah, well, hopefully that kills and we'll single target you. Let's see. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, my L Relic is, is a, it helps. It helps. It helps. <laughs> As you guys can see. <laughs> Shout out to Tyrant Tube, man. I've been, I've been seeing his videos around. I'm not going to lie. I've been, I've been seeing it on the, on the, you know, the recommended Shout out to Tyrant. Hopefully, yeah, no, that's what I mean, guys. There's still a bunch of other content creators out there. I think they definitely could get a lot more people in the program, too. And, uh, yeah, no, I do hope they uh, keep it open again, you know, the next time they bring it uh, back around. Um, yeah. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, though, guys. If you guys are, like, smart creators, man, you know, we're all in that same boat. You know, ask any of the big YouTubers. Everyone was at that point where they were really small. And, for honestly, for three years I've been covering this game, we didn't have a creator program for that long, and I was still covering the game, doing the best I could. So, you know, just keep at it, you know. When they open up the program again, they're going to add you guys in. Who else do they got to add in, right? You guys are definitely the, the next ones in line, so. Uh, there you go, man. Yeah, my all rug is crazy. I just beat that one team. One team tower. Look at that. W team right there. Alright, now this team, uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do it with Delta here. Let's see. So let's run a uh, critical defense here. Oh wait, no, we don't run this team. We run a Sui team first. Yeah, that's what it was. We run a Sui team first. I could try. I could. I, I could actually try. Like you know, Valenti with a catastrophe. I could try. Let's. You know what? Well, why not, guys? Why not? Um, which tower should I do it though? Should I do this tower maybe? I feel like Katastrophes could beat all these, like, at least these three teams. Let's give it a try. Your big inspiration? Thank you, man. I No, I appreciate it, though, guys. I appreciate it, man. But uh, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, uh, Tyrant Tube, Gar, I know you guys are uh, are out there grinding. Here, you know what? I usually do this for, uh, uh, what's it called? Other uh, content creators in, in the community, so. Uh, there you go, man. You got mud. Shout out to uh, Tyrant Tube. Alrighty, let's uh let's see if we can make a catastrophe team though. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll give it a shot, I guess. Uh let's see. Where is Mono? Where is Mono? We gotta run her as well. Yeah. Who else do we got? Who is like another catastrophe we could run? Um I don't have any other catastrophes built like that though, right? Catastrophes like there's not really a, a good chunk of them either. Catastrophe just suck. <laughs> like, they, they kind of just suck. But you know what? Maybe I run. Because we're running. This is full human. I could run Green Arthur, though, still. I could still run Green Arthur, though. Maybe we run, we run him. Um, we could try that, actually. I don't know how much this will help us, but, hey, I mean, might as well give it a shot. Uh, I guess crit resistance as well, right? Like, crit resistance to try and dodge the crits for Arthur. I don't have HP UR gear for these other characters. That That is, I think, my problem. I don't have an HP mono gear. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. All right, let's swap this for critical critical resistance as well, I guess. Like, let, let's try full crew resistance, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know how well it's going to go, honestly, but let's see, man. Oh, no, wait. We can't do crit resistance. We can't. We got to do crit defense because of the DK melee. It's because of the DK Melly. Alright, dude, I'm gonna jump out, but enjoy the rest of the stream, dude. Message me about the podcast. If not, all good. I got you, Nalid. I'll, I'll be hitting you up, bro. Thank you again for uh, tuning into the to the uh, to the stream, bro. I appreciate you. Alright. Shout out to Nalid, man. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Keep grinding, keep grinding. Alright, let's see. Let's do um Yeah, we'll do critical defense because uh DK Melly will will be cooking our team, guys. DK Melly will be that guy to do that. So we got to watch out for that. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And I'll put back critical defense on you here.
I don't know if we die. I honestly don't know if we die, bro. I, I don't know, guys. We'll see. Oh, critical defense, sorry. Not letting me send the clip? Okay, uh, Pokedeep, email me. Email me the clip then. Uh, my business email is, uh, is this right here. Okay, I'll put it in the chat. Don't mind the cringe of the email, guys, but... That's my business email. Email me that. Email me there, and I'll get the, I'll get the clip through that. And, uh, hopefully, uh, it'll help me out. Um, I'll run critical defense on this Valenti as well. Yeah. And we can try this. We'll see how it goes. I mean, if this works out, it works out. If it doesn't, bad RNG. We'll try it, though. We'll try. Uh, I have the new card set. Is the new card set the Katastrophe one? I forget which one it is. I'll try just the uh, the human HP one, though. We can just still rock this. This is still solid. Um, yeah. Let's hop in. Let's hop in. See how it goes. Uh, the lowest HP is... Is Roxy though, so I might have to make I mean they're all blue though, like who's gonna hit them? Right, so let's just let's just hop in and see. Jin Wu, welcome to the stream, bro. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just testing out uh I was just testing out my old relic after getting it. Um on uh, Heroes Arena. It's pretty good. It is actually pretty good. Alright, let's see here. Let's just test our catastrophes. Are catastrophes worth running? Time to find out, guys. Let's see. Um, that did a good chunk of damage. Actually, Arthur should be the lowest HP, actually. Actually, he should be. Oh, wait. I think he's dead, though, actually. Wow. Okay, so you can't run that team. <laughs> we gotta run a full mono blue team, then. Uh, who else can I run? I don't have Christmas Lily, I don't think, man. Do I have Christmas Lily? I gotta build her. If I do, I gotta run her. Because then she would actually fit on the team. Mono blue, uh, Catastrophe. Um, do I have Christmas Lilia like that? I have the blue Lilia. Or I have the red Lilia. I do have Christmas Lilia. Should I build her, guys? Should I build her? Let me reset. If I build her, it could work, but... If I'm building her, it's mainly for, a uh, thing. Oh, and I don't have her Holy Relic either. I'd have to grind that. Yeah, man, I don't have enough for a bird. I just made Valenti's. Yeah, <laughs> it's way too much of a grind. Okay, um, yeah, let's not let's not do catastrophe team right now. I'll I'll have to look into it to see if I want to test it. But we'll just do my Sui team and then Sins and then, uh, yeah, we'll uh we'll probably leave it at that for now, guys. Uh, let's see, um, where's Frogger at? Where's Frogger at? Um, I'm gonna grab Frogger in. Amazing, is Valenti worth for Ratatosker? It honestly depends on how much of Ratatosker you want to clear every week and how much you are already able to clear. That's what I would base it on first. If you could already do Floor 1 and 2, then you don't really need her. If you want to go for Floor 3, though, um, and you can only do Floor 1 and 2 right now, then she will help you be uh, be able to do Floor 3. Um, you will need probably LR Glocks, though, alongside her. But I do think it would be doable. Yeah, I, I do think it would. Um, where's my ultimate S right here? Um, it also depends on your box CC as well, Jinmu. Like, what's your box CC looking like? Are you big box CC? Are you C6, right? Um, where are you at, right? Um, let me put attack crit on. And then, uh, there we go. Have you seen what 70S Leaf said uh, about what could be next? I have, yes, Tyrant. I have, I have, so... Um, hopefully, you know, that's why I thought Subnock was coming this week, you know, I thought it was her, but I guess it was a thing though, right? Okay, let's see. Right now, 12.5 million, then you could easily do Floor 3. Um, I would go for her if you want to do Floor 3. If you want to do Floor 3, go for her. <laughs> Sneeze, bless me. <laughs> I knew the season was coming, so I was trying to finish my sentence. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay. That's fine. Kill Frodrin. And then single target Frodrin. Nice. That's what we want to see. No problem, man. No problem. There we go.
and then since we're facing Ragnarok this fight, I, I honestly shouldn't even... I'll just insta-forfeit, because we don't want to damage tier. If we damage tier, he's just going to crit us, and we don't want that, so... We just got to insta-reset here, but yeah, it did his job. That team gets the first uh, stage right there. And then we run Sins, and then my final tower is uh, Humans. Or I guess Catastrophes now. Maybe Catastrophes. Um, we'll have to see. Hi, amazing. I'm coming back to this game after a year, and I'm running a new account. What banner should I save gems for? Um, we do have the 5th anniversary coming at the end of May, beginning of June. So definitely around that time, Yazden. Uh, definitely save your gems for that for now. But um, yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say just pretty much that, you know. That's the next thing you would definitely want to be uh, thinking about. Okay, DK Meliodas. Sweet Jelly King, the GOAT. And then Infinity Merlin as well. Sweet Jelly King, the stongs are up, y'all. The stongs are up. Alright, so we gotta run critical defense gear though because of the DK melee on that one phase. So we gotta tank him. We gotta run critical defense. It's okay though. <laughs> the card set, yeah, I'll, I'll have to check the card set after this as well. I'll check the I'll check the card set as well. I checked the quality percent before setting it to look good. Hope it helps you out, brother. Thank you, Pokey Dude. Pet, thank you, bro. No, ho hopefully that does help me out. Um, <sighs> yeah, no, because I was, I was, I wasn't recording it because I didn't. I honestly didn't think I was gonna get the win just like that, guys. But I got really good RNG, so I guess it just happens sometimes, you know. Sometimes you just get the RNG and you beat it, you know. Um, so there's that. Card set is the seven deli sins one. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go, I think. Uh, let me just make sure everyone's geared up. Yup, yup, yup. Alright, we're good to go. I might have to switch uh, melee to attack critical damage, uh, defense, I mean. Because I have critical damage with uh, crit defense rolls right now. So, you know, I could, I could switch off that, but, um, yeah. We will have to see, we'll have to see. Yeah, that crit does not do a lot of damage though, right? Like, look at that. I kind of tanked that. Like, low-key. Yeah, melee should be fine. He has big basic stats. Honestly, attack crit damage is fine. For him, I think. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we heal up. Okay, let's do... Uh, I think what I usually do is AoE with King and then this and this. Just to make sure we killed the, the tier, right? I think this is what I do normally. For the heal, so he heals up. Todomeda. There we go. There goes Tier. So now it's a little bit easier for us. Like, King's around full HP as well. We got another weak point with them, which is really good. And if they attack into Merlin, they're not killing Merlin. No way. Like, maybe. Maybe. They lost Tier, though. So they're not. Look at look how little damage they're doing to Merlin. Merlin's so good. Merlin is really good. If you get her Holy Relic, man, uh, Merlin on Sin's team is, like, actually so insane. Um, Especially for, like, Heroes Arena and stuff like this, right? It's just really good. Um, okay, let's do, let's do that. Um, Merlin is the lowest HP, but <sighs> this is tough. This is tough. Because how do I want to go about this? I'd want to go through the lifesteal a little bit, for sure. Um, but I want Merlin to kind of full heal as well. Uh, so if I do that. And then maybe, maybe King Poison? Let's try it, let's try it. Damn, that did a lot. Oh wait, that's killing. All right, there you go. Can't, can't help that, guys. Can't help that. Um, that That's good, though, because Gother does heal up a good chunk and, and Merlin's back to full. So, uh, yeah, this team is all about Lysiel, though. I don't really like this team because of that fact. Um, when going second, if you're going first with this team, though, it is very smooth just to kind of breeze through. Uh, for sure, for sure, so. Um, yeah. Will we have another Rattos unit to replace Valentine's Wing King or a reset to go? I think they might, honestly, bro, the next unit that gets replaced on the team, guys, is DK Meliodas. I feel like, 
it is crazy to say that because I just I don't know the way he the way his C to the N work to her stand stripping is kind of tough to get sometimes and like the damage like I don't know man maybe fifth Annie the unit for fifth Annie might be like the new best like character to run instead of DK Melly maybe I don't know right we'll definitely have to see but right now it's kind of feeling like that's the case I don't know all right this then this then that Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll try and life with Gother as much as possible, though, so he's, like, you know, kind of tanking a little bit, but, uh, from the next phase on, but, yeah. Let's see, so this stand stretch, so this should kill. Yeah, look at that. Boom, dead. And it's just Tarmiel, so now we can easily life with Gother. We can start a turn heal. Um, we should be completely fine, honestly. That ranks up Gother as well. That's pretty good. Okay. So let's see, Gother start a turn healing. He healed more than he took. He healed more than he took. I'm going to do the rank 1. And I'm going to end turn, I guess, right? I need to get a rank 1 rank up. That's what I need. I need a rank 1 rank up. Everyone else is full HP. It's just go through. So maybe, actually, we do this. This and that. But we got rank enhancement now, so we should be doing a little bit more damage. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. And then rank 3 go through. Should life show us up. I was gonna wait for another Gother card, but we could just kill now and, and finish off and move in. Um, that should heal us a good chunk. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, I think, for the most part. That should be good. As long as everyone else is full health, we're fine. Um, yeah, and then the DK Melee. The DK Melee here is a little scary, but I think we'll be okay. Because once he gets his AoE, that's when you want to be scared. Because when he goes for that, like that, that crit is going to do a lot. Uh, but I think I think we are okay, actually, though. I think I am actually free to do the triple AOE. Look how they're running Jelly King too, guys. The Jelly King song's around. If you haven't built this character already, build this character, please. Uh, amazing. Sounds like you are disappointed about the new Valencia for Radis Oscar. Um, I'm not that I'm disappointed. I feel like I'm more... Well, I, I no, I actually am, I think. I, I actually am, I think. I think more so, though, than being disappointed is that I think Valenti feels like her kit would be better on a different character, I think. I think her kit is good, and it is exactly what we wanted to do. But I think she feels a little bit weaker than she should be. If you get what I mean. But that's me coming from my free-to-play account's perspective. Right? So it could be different. It could be different. And, that's, and it's just from my free-to-play account's perspective. But, yeah, no. It, it I don't know. I, I just feel that, right now at least, that if you don't have, like, really good box CC, the Valenti's not really worth running. I'll be honest. Like, uh, or not even worth pulling for, I mean. Um... Because if you're lower box you see, yeah, you can do floor 1 and 2 um, with the Valenti and that's fine. But, yeah, no. Well, no, because Valenti can't get a Holy Relic. She already has one, right? Valenti already has a Holy Relic. So, I don't think she would even get another Holy Relic, right? It's tough for Valenti, man. It's tough for Valenti. Um, it should have been a different character. It should not have been a Valenti, I think. I think it could have been... I don't even know who it could have been. It could have just been another character, though, man. It could have been another character. If, yo, if it was, oh my gosh. If it was an Infinity Merlin variant, oh my gosh. That would have solved all the problems right there. That would have solved all the, if it was the exact same kit that that passive had, and you could run her alongside Jelly King, D, DK Meliodas, and LR Liz. If it was one of, it was, if it was this Infinity Merlin, but a new variant. Oh my God, it would have been over. That would have been it right there. That would have been it right there. Guaranteed. That would have been it. That would have been it. That would have been it. Oh my god, Wait, waste an opportunity, man. That would have been it, bro. If the if that exact kit from that Valenti was given to an Infinity Merlin variant, then we're beating Floor 3 easily. Easily. Because your basic stats are super huge, right? The Merlin herself would be very tanky, too. Like, oh my gosh, bro. Because this Merlin has some of the best substats in the game for, like, any character. Like, defense-related, like... Uh, you know, HP related, like her substats are crazy. If we had another variant of her, oh my god, not bro. No, let me work at that marble. I would have made that, y'all would have been done. Uh, useless relic, Liz is not a sin. That's true, that's true. The relic is useless, but let's say Liz gets replaced for another healer in the future. That's a sin, done, done and fixed. And, and the whole team will be fixed. Um, yeah. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna wrap up stream there, though. We did, uh, for the most part, a lot of good things. 
um and we'll and we'll see what we're able to do on monday but yeah that's the stream for today guys we'll see you again on monday tune in for this weekend i got the should you summon as well and uh i'll have that on saturday yeah man thank you guys for coming through and we'll see you guys in the next event peace out have a great rest of your day guys see you later man